Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Hello. Uh, where we play new games on classic consoles. Well, one in particular. The Atari 2600. <laughs> and uh, we broadcast at 60 frames a second. So you better watch at 60 or else it'll look all weird and crazy and our mouths will go out of sync on YouTube because they don't know how to re-encode 60 to 30 frames a second. Mm -hmm. But what can we do about that? Um, so here's Tanya. Hello. And the audio sync is off again because oh, no. I always forget that. Continually. Hello. <laughs> but only until somebody tells me. There we go. Love audio it. sync. Thank you, RC70. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, everybody else. We've got a very happy purry cat here right yes. now. Yes. Have you played sing. with your Atari today? Yes. That's that's one of the slogans that they had yes. back in the day. And that's that's. But it, it was actually, too. have you played Atari today? But yeah. It works well if you adapt it. Have you played with your Atari today? Yes. Still works. Yeah. Um, so welcome to the show. Um, first time you've been back since uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yes, and it's been a while. Yeah, a couple Has weeks. It? Depends how time's up, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. So today we're going to be playing uh, three games. Uh, two brand new uh, homebrew games. Yes, sir. One called what? Heist. One mm -hmm. called Goon Knights. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to be doing an Activision patch challenge. Okay. Skiing. Yay. So good luck to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always very, very hard. Um, oh, and congrats to Tanya for being the best PA. Yes. Yeah. Well. She did a great job. <laughs> she was also the uh, camera everything. person. Yes. Um, also uh, I was managing producing, the audio. Doing I the was, audio. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. There was yeah. a lot of stuff going on. I was, I was Monitoring carrying, the chat. carrying a laptop <laughs> for about an hour and a half to the point where my fingers started to go numb on one side this because is at, I was this was at Portland Retro Gaming holding Expo holding the laptop in one hand carrying the camera in the other and then monitoring the chat <laughs> on my phone which was balanced on the laptop madness so yeah it was a lot of work <laughs> yeah this, this is when we did the live stream at Portland Retro Gaming yeah. Expo and if you missed yeah. our live stream it's now posted on YouTube so you can watch it there and it doesn't have all the choppiness so it was yes. it was actually yes. the uh, connection that was making it chop out mm, mm -hmm. and not the uh, laptop which is good yeah so now there's a, so good, there's a decent video there's a good yeah, recording there's a but video of it. um the green screen was on oh yeah yeah that's right <laughs> from the atari awards yeah so anything in green goes to black it went see-through <laughs> see-through <Yeah. laughs> and you saw through to blackness yeah so, so the galagon shirts had galagon and green in, and they all went black which yeah. is hilarious so if you watch it you can see the blacked out letters and anything uh yeah, anything in green. Anything yeah. in green. Even on the video yeah. games, it went yeah, to black. Yeah, kind of funny. So yeah. thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Twitch subscribers, uh, which we have more than ever. Um, yes. Coconut81, Dietrich Harms, Gretams, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Johnny C, WC23, Carl G, Croco2600, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, mm -hmm. Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Cat Lake, Spartan581, mm -hmm. Spiceware, Esther Mirrors2008, The D Train37, and Tiki Dan K. Mm -hmm. And you can support the show too and get your name read. Mm -hmm. You can subscribe for free, for free, if you have Amazon Prime, which almost everyone does in the US at least. Mm -hmm. um, and just link it to your Twitch Prime ac account and click subscribe. And I want to thank everybody else who's here tonight. Uh, what is overlapping? Oh yeah, it's so long. The names are overlapping the, the and I've and I actually reduced them since in size. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to get to a point where well, I I don't know what I'm going to do actually. Yeah, <laughs> put a scrolling thing along the bottom or the top yeah. or I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Or just flip them out throughout the show, like you know. Every oh, twenty minutes. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Well, no, I mean you have different <laughs> clicking, screens. Clicking, clicking. You have different screens that you yeah. flip back and forth between. So You'll you have, have the, the name, the intro screen, and the playing screen people. Yeah. 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 Maybe there's yeah. not really a lot of room yeah. on the playing screen. Better than scrolling, I agree. Better than scrolling. Yeah, because yeah. then, then then it becomes a distraction. It's like yeah. oh, this thing. Or both moving. sides of the screen would work too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Takes I've up. got the I've got room on the left yeah, there. Yeah. So I can yeah we'll do that. There's 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 some room. Yeah, there's, it's just too, it's getting too tiny. Yeah. And, and overlapping, so. Yeah. And it's, I think it's at 20 or 21 people now, which is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, 
thank you everybody mm -hmm. and you can see all the people there that are watching right now that are subscribers mm -hmm. you get a little uh, icon behind beside yes, your name you. and it says how long you've been subscribing mm -hmm. for there's people that are like 13 months now it's awesome which is uh, from incredible like, from like year zero <laughs> almost, almost almost because i didn't do uh, you have to kind of sign up for the su su subscription mm. part of it so we didn't do that for the longest time mm, so that's true. pretty much from the beginning or don't you have to reach a certain level and then you can you do it actually like they yes. have those weird twitch levels that you have to have so many subscribers and get all these yeah. badges and and the next yeah. level is i have to have 75 people average watching it yeah that's a lot <laughs> that's that's we're really far from that yeah. so yeah, uh a lot. it'll be we get it'll a, be a we while. get a good chunk of people but it's not 75 no it's, yeah we're we're not so tell your friends <laughs> yeah we're not playing uh minecraft or uh world of war world of warcraft yeah. or any craft at all any craft at all. <laughs> we're yeah. just we're playing atari um mm. and uh mr fix 15 month subscriber job, and mr. a founder yes. so i don't know how that works he doesn't get a little badge but he gets a founder he gets which a is first. pretty good yeah i think uh, we figured that out as the first mm. 12 people Oh. to subscribe okay yeah, so he'll always have that that's very cool as long as he's with us yeah, yeah. world of warcraft 26 yeah. number. <laughs> there you go another idea so uh thank you everybody for tuning in arena foot uh the d train 37 nathan strum uh mr fix rc7e uh, uh dios kilos 80 ice posta uh and everybody at Le lemma callister Let's see what else. And everybody else that is lurking and not talking. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? No, not for now. Maybe at the end, we'll get your name right out. Um, so I do have a poll question. Um, actually, I want to just continue on with this. The interest in Zero Page Homebrew has been growing all the time. You can see the subscribers. And we mm -hmm. just hit, uh, just surpassed 400 subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. 400. And That's almost 600 cool. followers on Facebook, which yeah. is way more than i ever thought would ever have interest in this show mm. but it's it's really wonderful yeah, and that's people cool. every video i post now on youtube has lots of feedback now there's always people making comments now it's really yeah. fun yeah. responding back to them and see what they say about it i mean there's tons in the chat yeah but um but now people are are leaving a lot of comments yeah, on youtube nice. it's yeah. really really yeah. nice um so yeah i want to thank everybody for, uh, that listens live mm -hmm. and watches on YouTube afterwards. It's it's unbelievable. And all the people that came up to us at Portland Retro yeah. Gaming Expo yeah. that we've never seen in real life mm -hmm. before because last year when we went, we kind of just starting out, you know, we didn't have a huge fan base. But this time, it was like a constant stream. And I, and I think if... Uh, did, did anybody come up to you on Saturday or you weren't around there not, very long? Not really. I mean, I was around the Atari age and so, For a little bit, so, right. you know, John and Paul and Shampo, were there. John Shampo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and, and Dion was there, but uh, yeah. no, no, no one sort of accosted me while I was running around. I was also, I was also sort of by myself too, which may have. Right. Had yeah. an when we were together, then that was a little different. A little but, bit yeah. more attention where when yeah. we were together. Well, so and that, and we were filming the whole time. So it's like, what are, oh, who are those people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was really nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's get to the poll question now. Um, do, 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 do. I was noticing the camera is jiggling. Oh, it's still jiggling. The focus. Can you look at the camera? Uh, well, no, look at the camera. Look at the camera. It's so, jiggling? Yeah. I want to make sure focus i think i'm gonna zoom it in a bit because it's being naughty so mm -hmm. i'm gonna start the poll and you guys can see it so you just pick one two three or four there and i'm gonna just zoom in a bit because it's like vibrating almost like it it's like changing focus just a little bit let's see mm -hmm. if that helps at all like like going in and out <laughs> yeah the of? camera says focusing again yeah it's going like oh, it's still doing is that the it, what setting is it on? Is it uh, related to the one. autofocus setting? Or? Yeah, it's autofocus. Mm. That it's just having trouble. Uh, it's still doing it. That's weird. Okay, whatever. We'll have to deal with it. I'm yeah. not going to play with the wobbly camera. Wobbly eyes. Yeah, wobbly eyes. So the poll question is: How much involvement from the community do you like in a game? 
Hey, pay attention. Sorry, no, I'm like, I, I didn't notice it, but now I'm seeing the wobbling. It's like... Now that you drew attention to it. It's like, uh... uh from the community, do you like any game? Um, because people post their homebrews. Yes. Um, some post them really early. Um, these are like works in progress. Mm. And they post the early builds of them. And some, um, like one of them that we're going to play tonight, just posts the final build. And yeah. it's like, I'm done. Here's my game. Yeah. Yeah. We've never, like, one tonight, this guy has never posted a mm -hmm. game before. It's his first game, as far as I know. And he said, here it is. It's done. It's final. It's over. <laughs> uh, I don't need any f input. Um, I'm sure if there's a big bug, people, he's going to change it. Yeah. Um, but I've seen a bunch. Usually it, people ask for input. Um, so the answer is anyway. How much involvement from the community do you like in a game? One, none at all. Release the game only when it's finished. Uh, two, a demo or a late build before the final release to give a little feedback. Mm. Three, uh, three or four major builds along the way to get input. Uh, input. Mm -hmm. uh, or four, everything. Source code and every build if possible. <laughs> I want to help. <laughs> And, um, yeah, people are going crazy on three. And I, I mean, yeah. four if possible, but, you know, most people don't do that. Um, yeah. I, I would go three as well. Um, Is this from the perspective of the person developing the game or the audience? Like, Let's say both. But I'm, Our I'm, audience probably wants <laughs> four because they like to see everything, everything. along the way. But and if you're the... developing, it's going to be very personal. Yeah. Right. So you can you can do either one because a lot of these people are developers you can do it from the uh, perspective of a developer but mostly i was saying from uh a user somebody who's playing it well yeah because that's very different it but... is very different so let's just say it's from a user from person playing it person helping out i would probably i mean i, I everyone's saying three but i think as a user i mean you want it to be a pretty complete build to be worth playing but I mean, for me, yeah, I'm not a developer, so yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna have other than I like this, I don't. I'm not gonna have a lot of input. It's it's it's, it's a balance it's difference, yeah. Because I'm sure some developers just want to put it out near the end, yeah, and, and get all the excitement at once, rather than oh, here's the first build. People go, oh, it's okay, it's it's not great because it is a first build. It's not polished yet, but some people like the input and are just starting out programming. Yeah. Um, but it's a big mix, you know. Uh, let's look at Andrew Davies' program yeah. that he's doing, Sokobu. He mm -hmm. posts, like, every build, like, one a day almost, one or two a day yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, um, And some people post it with source code because they're beginners, and they say, well, look at my source code. Yeah. But I'm it also like, depends on the person, too, because sometimes you want a lot of, of input and help, but yeah. I tend to be the type of person who... I want to try and figure it all out myself before I, I get something out. Yeah. So I would, like, if it were me personally just thinking how I deal with the minor sort of coding things I've done in my yeah. work and stuff like that is I try to do it perfectly as best as possible. So I would be, I would want input, but I would want want it to be like a very late build if it were me. Yeah. But if I were making it. Uh, yeah, I yeah. would... And to, yeah, don't like tons of input causes burnout. But I also like, yeah. you start to resent the criticism too. If, <laughs> you do. And, oh, and, change and, it to this and change it to that. Yeah, or I don't like this in your program. If Make you a... have a clear vision of something, then you kind of want, you want the input when you're hitting, hitting those points where you're really struggling or possibly you want the audience feedback, I guess. But um, I don't know. Everyone's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as Everyone's a developer, a I would go more towards two. Yeah. I would develop it w quite far unless I needed help. So it's hard Which is to different. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'd be more on the two side. But then, then, uh, then as a as a user, I probably want to see it all actually, the way around. Probably for my first game, yeah. I would go three, or even four. Yeah. Like I would show my source code, do everything yeah. because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, then I would go into maybe three for the second game. Mm and post like three or four major mm. milestones and it and I would stick there for a while on, on games and then if once I got very confident mm. I'd probably go to two but then send it to people I know yeah and so it'd be a progression for me so it also yeah. depends where you are I don't develop games so yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I can kind of see that 
Stay Frosty 2 and Boulder Dash had years of dev behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, and so people get a lot of help. Everyone's a little... Yeah, yeah. Um, from other programmers, maybe not publicly. Yeah. Right? So I just but thought it'd be an interesting uh, question to get people's perspective yeah. on that. Yeah. And a lot of these people are, are developers. Of course, yeah. 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 Um, so today I just found out that I was nominated for uh, another award for mm -hmm. my for my film, oh, documentary good film, job. Yeah. Um, at the Twin Cities Film Festival. Nice. Which I just came to from just before Portland Retro Portland, Gaming yeah. Expo with two hours of sleep. That was why I was there by myself, because yes. you were in Minnesota and had to fly. Or we wouldn't have got uh, this game. <laughs> yeah. We, we wouldn't Which have been able to get this out. game, Galaga, because, yeah. Galagon, because it was completely sold out yeah. by, the t by Sunday by the time I got there. So. Yeah, and to be clear, you basically sent me a list. It was on my phone. I walked up to Atari Age and said, I need this. <laughs> Please all give these. me all these games, and yeah. they pack them up in nice bags. So, yeah. When does a common man get to see your film? <laughs> uh, you get to see it probably in a couple months if everything goes perfectly smoothly. Yeah. We're kind of done our festival run, yeah. and we're talking to distributors right now. So hopefully there'll be digital distribution very soon, right? Yeah, or, that's or, the aim. or video on demand or something like that. Yeah, so online. It's just streaming. not there right now, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So very there's soon. no link to watch the film. Here's a link you can, uh, yeah, you can't watch it yet. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking about a trailer, but we don't have a public trailer because we kind of want to release the trailer to promote the film. When you actually get to the video on demand. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, is there going to be a box version of Galagon? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. In November, sometime in November. That's what Al said. Mm. Um, same with the rest of all these games because he has to start building up inventory again once he gets home because they're going to sell like insane again oh yeah um so he doesn't Amazing want to game. <laughs> he doesn't want to i think he wants to minimize the delay between saying they're ready yeah and get them in people's yeah. hands yeah rather than just posting on the store and then getting that ready well because he knows he's going to get hundreds of orders for Galagon. Yeah, yeah. Right away, because 50 yeah. sold out almost instantly. I like, think. instantly. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, they were gone on, on day one. So, like I yeah. said, I gave them the list, they gave me the games, mm -hmm. and then, like, by the end of the day, they were out, I think. They were sold yeah. out. So, it's yeah. pretty, it was pretty it's cool. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, that makes it five wins and four nominations for the movie, which is amazing. Yeah. Surpassed yeah. everything I'd, I'd hoped for. Yeah, um, so. I hope you get it. That'd be very cool. <laughs> yeah, we can't ever count on a win. No, we've but been nominated even being before. Nominate, nominated is, is yeah. really cool. We've been nominated before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. You can't, you can't see it see. yet. Very uh, soon, though. I think it's, it's very close to that point where. Yeah, it within be, months. It should be on something so people can see it. So. Yeah, so uh, yeah. definitely let everyone know yeah. um, when that'll be happening. Yeah. He's um, trying to build, build like that, that tension. That yeah, for years and years and years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, um, so along with the Galagon t-shirt that you saw on me yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, Champ Games is making a uh, Wizard of War t-shirt at, uh, just for Tanya, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I don't, we won't reveal what it says yet. Well, we, if, I've mentioned it on, on the stream before. Yeah, so, if, so if you know, you know. You know. But if you um, don't, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so so we, it'll be very, very cool. I'm very the, excited. The t-shirt. And Tanya's excited because he's making it just for her. Well, I don't know if he's not making it just for me. <laughs> and but everyone else. it will be else. available. In honor of you, yeah. let's say. Uh, I don't know. Um, but That's you awesome. can also get a Roach in Space t-shirts and Night Guy in Low Res World t-shirts oh, really? from VHZC. Uh, Arena Foot oh, let me know about cool. these, and I'm going to uh, show them on the screen right nice. now. Yeah. Um, swimwear. No. It's, it's not swimwear. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. You could swim in it. <laughs> you I could. Guess, if you want to. Um, that would be, I guess, cool. <laughs> so let's take a look at this. Nice. I can't see it yet. I can't see it yet. Okay, and let's switch over to that. There we go. It has actually really, it blends itself really well to a t-shirt, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, it's got the, ro he's an incredible artist. He does all of his own, he does everything Nice. in yeah. his game. He does the music, he does mm -hmm. the programming, he does the artwork on the cover. He's, he's incredible. Um, and it's all good from start to finish, everything he does. Mm. 
So look at that. Only $18. Oh, there you Canadian. go. Canadian. Canadian. Actually, that's Ooh, really good. That's cheap. That's really, really <laughs> if cheap. If you're American, that's cheap. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like... You do have 15? to pay for their shipping or whatever it is. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Save 30% for the next two days. There you go. It's on sale. Yeah. Um, so you can get a nice close-up view. Mm, nice. Watermarked of the art so you can't do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to blow up this one. Nice. Yeah, so that's really nice. And he's got another one as well. He's got a bunch of art because I guess he's a prolific artist too. That's oh, what he nice. looks like <laughs> to himself. Uh, a bunch of other things oh, that nice. have nothing to do with uh, 2600. Yeah. And then he's got his night guy oh, in low res world, that's which, pretty is, cute. which is that's also cute. very, like very cool. Yeah. And I love it. This little, this 3D. Can you see my mouse? No, you can't. Uh, this 3D jutting out of the block he's standing on. Mm. This one's full price, so. Oh, you don't get the 30% off that one. So yeah. yeah. So if you really like those. You must 14 arena foot. Wow, yeah, that cheap. is really cheap. cheap. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what uh, type of t-shirts these are on, but I'm sure they're not. Yeah. Not terrible. Maybe you get oh, to, you look, get more stuff. Yeah, you get to sticker. Ooh, see, you just cool. take the image and they make the shirt. Actually, that sticker is really cool. Yeah. Let's see how much that is. There you go. Add it on to the other cheap t-shirt. $20 shipping. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, you don't know. There it is on a laptop. There you can cover up the Apple logo there you go. on your laptop and, my, and use it Dell. on television. Yeah, my Dell, Dell logo. So anyway, that's really cool. <laughs> Take my money, damn it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's really awesome. So, oh, thank you, Arena Foot, for uh, mm. uh, posting those in to make it easier for people. I'm not, mm. I'm not affiliated with it, so mm. I'm not making any money off of it. I just thought they're really cool. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah. yeah. So people are getting into the t-shirts. Uh, in conjunction with their games. Why not? Why not? If people, I mean, the Galagon t-shirt's really, really cool. Yeah, I like the Galagon yeah. shirt. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and the Galagon and Wizard of War are going to be on Champ Games website, mm -hmm. champ.games. It's already up. It's got, uh, we showed it last episode, and he's got some default artwork. Yeah, I, um, I actually watch watched part? some of the stream, and uh, I was laughing at that, yeah. The Xbox and... Yeah. Uh, 360 controllers they're obviously just placeholders ps4 people okay. were like oh my god their, like, heads, what is their going on? heads were exploding <laughs> yeah they made a bosconian t-shirt who did where you mean uh, drac draconian um wow that would be a very cool one actually checking checking every that. day for that shirt oh, i want to see the Not bosconian Boston. you're going back now yeah yeah just in general it would be draconian <laughs> No, because uh, Bosconian. Bosconian is the name of the arcade game. Yeah, but he had games there. He had like Earthworm Jim on his page oh, too. So he, he probably does. Yeah, he probably does a whole. Did bunch I just of miss it? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go back there again. <laughs> no, you guys can't see it. Yeah, let's watch this online shop. How about uh, yeah. that's what it, what the new show will be? <laughs> online shopping with Zero Page Homebrew. That's right, buying stuff with <laughs> us. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a Boscon a Bosconian. Uh that's pretty good. That's not bad at all, actually. That's a nice shirt. Yeah. Well, now I know what I'm gonna get gonna get him for Christmas. So. Ooh. I do I love that game. Mm-hmm. It's so fun in the arcade mm -hmm. and the and the port that Daryl Spice Jr. did is immaculate. Mm. It actually helped me train for the arcade yeah, for yeah. when I when I'm playing the arcade, so it's it's pretty really... fun in the arcade because we played it at um, our local arcade in the West. Yes. And um, I hadn't ever played it in the arcade before, and yeah. I I agree with you. It did train me the playing it on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Yeah. yeah, you know and the I'm moves. Like, oh, you know how yeah. all the mechanics work. It's, yeah, it's, it's a fun incredible. Game. Um, so we're gonna get to the first game here. Mm -hmm. It's Heist by T X Marsh, aka Timothy Marsh. Um, it was released not too long ago on October 21st, so I think it was Monday. Um, it's a 32K DPC Plus game, um, and you can download it in the forums um, all you want. Uh, so let's get that going for you. Uh, heist. Uh, let me minimize the chat here. I think I saw TX Marsh in the uh, chat. But did he say something? Yeah. Okay. He, he responded to your, to the poll. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Welcome to the show, TX Marsh. Um, oh, no, I don't have the graphics. Let me just take one second and get those graphics going. I spent enough time on them. 
Actually, this was this was a little bit faster because he already had it done. There we go. There we go. There's the title screen. Heist. Press fire. It looks like the uh, top score is one. <laughs> um, so uh, he says, I'll let you play with it and figure it out until we get to the instructions. <laughs> figure it out, yeah. Um, I'm putting up a rather complete beta. This game was done entirely in Batari Basic using the DPC Plus kernel. When I started, uh, I planned to write in assembly, but frankly, Batari Basic was just too helpful to ignore. The game is intended to be an example of easy to play, hard to master. You only get one life, so you need to master each level in order to complete the game. All feedback appreciated. I hope you enjoy. What happened? I don't know. I think I took too long. Oh. I don't know. Uh, or I, I got don't know. shot. I think you probably got shot. Can you run into walls? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see a countdown timer anywhere. Uh, anyway, we'll get to the instructions. Uh, all feedback appreciated. I hope you enjoy. And uh, please feel free to... Well, don't run into the wall. Well, no, it's not a wall. It's, it's a, a zapper. It's a laser oh, zapper. Oh, I have to go through it. Oh, see? <laughs> Um, okay, instructions. Gameplay. You only have one life, so make it count. Capture the money while avoid avoiding the police and laser defenses. That's a laser defense. Uh, once the money is in your possession, a door will open. You still need to make it out of the bank to clear the level. <laughs> All of this must be done before time runs out. Gotcha. So there is a timer. Um, I don't see it anywhere, but we'll find out. Um, it's uh, not at the bottom right. Is it? Okay. Some of the levels are easier than others, and the time is adjusted accordingly. Note that the police will not notice you unless you're in their general proximity or you've, you've taken the money. Once you've captured the money, all police become aware of your presence. <laughs> I'm terrible they, at this game. And they moved with an increased sense of urgency, i.e. faster. There is a total of 20 levels using 10 play fields, so they repeat twice each. Each play, play field is displayed twice. The second time through, you're given less time, and the police move faster. If you complete all 20 levels, you will flip the game and have a chance to play through them again. This time, however, the police will move faster and you'll be limited to four bullets. Uh -huh. uh, controls. Movement. Use a left joystick to move left, right, up, down, and on diagonals. Shooting. Press the fire button to shoot bullets in the direction of your movement. Did you touch it? No. Oh, I, my ran time out of ran time. out. Wow. I didn't uh, get much time. Pause. Set the left difficulty switch to A to pause the game. Set the switch back to B to continue gameplay. So you can go use the washroom, I guess. Um, game, game variants. Use the game select switch while on the title screen to cycle through game variants. We're on game one, so we have limited time, limited bullets. Normal game. Game two is unlimited time, unlimited bullets. So that's like training mode. Excellent. Uh, and game three is unlimited time and no bullets. Oh my god, that sounds nightmarish. <laughs> so you have to run away from them, basically. Yeah, you have to avoid them. Hmm. Got some people saying stuff in the chat. Interesting. Let me know if those guys are causing issues. It's always a great accomplishment when people come in and flood the chat with nonsense. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wow, you guys are still going. As a, as in... No, we just started the stream. <laughs> still going as in uh, almost two years later? Yes, we are. We are still going two years later. Oh, the stream. The stream. We just started the stream. Not too long ago. Um, we started a half hour uh, late, so that's probably wh what you're saying. But we're only technically an hour in. Not nonsense! I subbed! Oh yes, you did! Boy. Boy. Boy flowers? I can't see it from here. So thank you very much for your subscription, boy flowers? Boy lovers? <laughs> I can't see it. It's like two L's or... Boy flowers. I can't see it. Oh, great. I thought I missed most of it. Nope. Nope. We just, just started the first game. Jeez. Is he on That's level three or level two? Level you on? Three. Three. Um, hints. It may help your overall strategy to get the police to chase you. You can get 
uh, their attention by moving close to them. This works even if you're protected behind a wall. Oh no. Do you mean to go that? Okay, my turn. So you only get one life, eh? Yeah. You just start right back at the beginning. Ooh, he's really fast. Yeah, yeah, he takes a bit of uh, practice <laughs> to get control over. So now it's a yellow. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to do it pretty quick. Oh you can my just god. avoid them completely. Uh, this one anyway. Yeah. yeah. But you can. You can just run away from them. And then they don't shoot you. I thought because they have little guns that they would shoot you at some point. Oh, but they, they don't? don't. They just run after you. But you can't touch them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I could get up there fast enough, but I could not. <laughs> that one's easy. And this one you have to kind of draw out until he passes that wall. Oh. Move too close. Mm -hmm. So you have unlimited bullets? No, mm. you don't. Oops. You can shoot down, too. Oh, you have no bullets left. <laughs> <laughs> I shot too many. Four bullets, I think it was. Uh, limited. Doesn't say how many. Yeah. But that your, was four. Your bullets are at the bottom there, so. Yeah. You get four. Indicated by a bar. Yeah. Which are easier to do than uh, numbers. Shoot up too. Damn it. You shot down before. Oh, so I, I didn't realize that. I yeah. thought you had to do side to side, so I thought it was a lot more challenging than uh, it actually That's uh, right. probably is. It's very sensitive movement. Yeah. He has to see you and then run towards you. There oh, you go. Okay, that's That's faster. a lot easier. Oh yeah. my god, that's so much faster. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Oh, that was close. I mean, it's good that he runs fast towards the exit, right? But... It's very fiddly. And he does move a little faster yeah. in this second round. He's, he's Whoa, that guy is... That guy's like super fast. But you can totally avoid him. Yeah, luckily. He's not oh, he's bad. so fast. He's like the real police. So this one, you don't have to wait. So you can just yeah. go boom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shoot this guy. Because I don't want to go through that wall. Yeah. Now I'm out of really bullets, not. I think. I uh, have one left. <gasps> oh my god. See, it's, it, it moves. It's very slippery. And back oh, to the beginning. Oh, back to the beginning. <laughs> I want lives. Uh, I want lives. There's 20 oh, levels. Oh, Marsh says uh, six bullets on the first level. Oh, okay. I thought it was four, but that's all good. Oh, oh. my god. Don't use up your bullets. Nope. Well, I'm okay on now. Oh, I want lives in this game, but I guess there's only 20 levels, so I guess you could you could do it. So does he shoot in the direction that you last moved? I don't know. So if I move, if you're moving, I think it does oh. shoot in the in the direction nope. you're moving. What is it? it? It's direction you're facing. So if, if you stop moving, oh, so you have to move. You up have to, to be shoot moving up. towards them. Yeah, okay. So yeah. if I face that, it'll shoot yeah. right left. But if you're moving up and down... If I down, move up, it'll shoot, go shoot right now. Yeah, but you have to be moving to get it to shoot up and down. Oops, I should be closer. I was running out of time. Oops, mm. shot. <laughs> Two clips of three bullets. I like that they're clips. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You can, you can dodge him. There you go. I ran out of time. Go fast. Run, 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 run. Run, it's red. Run as oh. fast as you can. There you go. Very, uh, very detailed graphics. Yeah. I like, I like the little guys. Yeah, I do. I do. I like the their little gun carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Good animation on the movement, yeah, too. Yeah, these guys move real fast. <coughs> oh, I gotta move. Uh, I gotta move. Uh, I gotta move. Whew. Mm -hmm. What are they saying in the mm -hmm. chat? Easy to play, hard to master, TX. That says. is true. It's very uh, easy to understand. Yeah, and you said you, were, you shoot in the direction you're moving. Timing is everything, yes, for sure. Well, you do move in the direction you're shooting, but you also, when you stop, you move in the direction, you shoot in the direction you're facing. Okay, go down, go ahead. Now. Yay! Beat him, beat him, beat him. Yeah. Now I have to do it again with less time. Good job. 
Oh, Damn it. Back to one. So hard. This guy moves too fast. <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> Scary! Oh, why are you there? It's okay. You're not fast. Mm -mm. It's kind of okay slow. Okay. Okay. Ah! To move up and shoot, not stop and shoot. You play for a little bit. All right. Three thousand. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. And I definitely did not beat the three thousand that time. I never understood that mechanic on the twenty six hundred. Seems really common. It's not possible to store the last direction moved vertically. Oh yeah, it definitely is. It's only one. Hey, he did a diagonal shot. He did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe you can shoot diagonally too. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, storing a uh, direction. It's only four. Uh, individual things, so it's only um, two bits. It's not much information to store. Even on the small amount of 128 bytes the uh, 2600 has and in the basic uh, configuration. Yeah, it's nothing to store that. Oh, I know. I think too it should have lives. Well, uh, it does make it challenging. Or at um, least the option of lives. Like in one of the games what I call old like, school gaming where uh, it's very unforgiving <laughs> very unforgiving but at least in the old school games it has three lives not always yeah sometimes it's like you're there and you start over very few yeah and then they moved into um kind of shield after a while mm. you had one life but you had shield mm. this is like realistic I guess <laughs> they die with one shot and you die with one shot yeah everybody's a marksman in this game Run away! Run away! Ah, ah, dodge him! I was trying to shoot him. <laughs> He's dodging my bullets! I think it's perfect as it is. <laughs> it is the Dark Souls of Atari games. Yes! Yeah, it should be friggin' hard. That's how it has that's how these games work. I'm oh too close. it killed you after you moved. It shouldn't have killed you there, but No it depends on how it draws. Yeah. It draws no, after. No, no, I moved too you. I moved too close. I moved too close. But right. you were facing the opposite direction and technically you shouldn't have been killed. But it depends how it does things in order right. when it's uh figuring out. Well, I mean not easy to figure out or something. I can't figure out why it's so common because it's kind of un unintuitive. Needs lives on a difficulty switch to turn them on and off. Yeah, to have the option would be nice. Um, so you can play it with three lives and then play it again with one life. Because you do want to have an option for players who almost... It doesn't shoot quite fast enough for me. <laughs> Is it a thousand a level? Is it just straight up a thousand a level? Because you don't get anything for shooting people. And I think you just get a thousand for each That's true, you don't. bag of money. I don't. Bag of money you get. Yeah, you got a thousand there. Okay. Oh, you're going to run out of time. Am I? No. I'm not. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> and there's no bonus. Yeah, it's just straight a thousand. There's no uh, thousand per dollar sign. Yeah. And there's no bonus for your um, time, which is always nice to have those those extra little bits <laughs> like extra for how many people you shoot extra for how many each time oh i was gonna run out of time eh, uh, probably uh, yeah so i i was able to do three so far <laughs> that's my highest yeah i did I get to the third level but i, I... Ooh, oh my god that was close Going back and forth. Yeah, he's he's dodging. And you get it when you get whoa. Mm -hmm. when you get the bag of money, not at the end of the level. Mm -hmm. um, great level designs. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Oh my god! I almost ran. Okay. Up. Oh, nope. Yeah, you have to wait for him just a little bit. Go fast. Run, run, run. Oh, 
Oh. Ah. Fast as you can. Oh my god. <laughs> Just into him. Oh my god. I think I'm too close when I go this mm -hmm. way. Yeah. This guy's hard to shoot. There you can we also go. run away from, well, no, you can't because you have to get the dollar. It's, it it's, takes it's a lot of time to, to run yeah. away from that guy if you're gonna. Oh. Zapped with the laser. Oh my god. Now I'm just playing poorly. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to rush it, but there is a timer, which is which is good, a great element into this, uh, for this game. The boss. Do you have any plans to add loot boxes and microtransactions to this wonderful game? <laughs> um, yeah, add-ons. No. no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. We're getting sloppier and sloppier as this goes on. Not that, not any better. <laughs> I think it does beep when the time is low, doesn't it? When it goes to red, it does it does do a beep. Somebody, yeah, it does. Um, yeah, it does. Up. It does make that noise. Yeah. So yeah. listen next time when it. Uh, I think I have the sound loud enough. Ooh. That was really there. It just beeped. Bad. Yeah, it, when it goes to yellow and when yeah. it goes to red. When it goes to red, so it does it does give an audio indicator, which is definitely necessary. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, microtransactions. Yeah, that'd be excellent. Oh, oh no! Man, got caught in the wall. Back to the beginning. What did I see the other day? Somebody uh, made something. Oh, I should have put it as a news story. Where did I see it? Somebody posted that they hooked up an Atari. Oh yeah, they hooked up an Atari to the internet using a offshoot of the uno cart um, some sort of uno cart like hardware um, where they were able to download a game off of the internet um, so maybe microtransactions will be coming <laughs> to an atari, <laughs> atari game atari near you soon. Um, uh. but that uh, that system could be used for good instead of evil for say multiplayer or um, downloading games because some people have asked for like just ROM only games. I'm totally I hate that. Um, ROM only? I mean, just like downloading it off the internet, but like uh, secure transaction ROMs that uh, you don't actually physically have. That is not something I would be in favor of. Like modern gaming systems like the PS4 where you don't actually physically own it. Uh, RC70 says he's loved some uh, gun wraps and skins. Yep, maybe you can get like a, a red skin for your guy, or um, you know, uh, ninja skin so he's mostly black and just a headband. <laughs> Jeez. There, get, get the 4,000, beat my score. Right oh, that them. work! That works really well, but yeah. yeah. Should I try that the next time I get there? <laughs> I only think I got there once. Oh, come on, start moving. I want my gun wrap to be in cyan. The <laughs> cyan, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, the Atari has a lot of colors. What? Oh my god! So I can probably do a nice cyan for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Can do slow and steady, not too crazy. Oh no! You can go, go through the, the top. Way. He's he's slow. He's yeah, a slow that's guy. That's good. I think he's, he's a cop who's eaten a lot of donuts. Yeah, he's or slowed security right guard, down. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I think they do describe them as cops, okay. but I would think they're security guards if they're if they're just guarding one thing. Like you wouldn't hire a policeman unless this was like. Uh, really high stakes place you would hire security guards and then they can call the police mm. um, well the I dollar guess... sign is only worth a thousand dollars so that's right they're not the most competent uh, 
No. Security guards. That guy, I would say, was the police, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's called after you've stolen it, so That's the right. alarm has gone off. That's right. The alarm has gone off. And he's coming from in the outside. You did a poor job of flipping the bag of sand with the, with the <laughs> dollar right. bag, and uh, the boulder's going to start running there. down the... <laughs> That's right. you got to run away from it. Oh, there we go. Yay, first level. <laughs> How, how's everybody else done in this game? Mm. We seem to find it very challenging. I don't think it's Maybe that it's challenging. Controls. I think it's the single the single life, though, means like... <laughs> no readers. You're always back to the beginning. and It's like Wall Jump Ninja. <laughs> you're like, I just want to get past... Oh! Yeah. Room one! <laughs> so frustrating. It is frustrating. Okay, I'm going to try that trick that you did. Oh, go through the wall? Yeah, yeah uh, especially for the fast, the fast round, I think you might have to. Because yeah. it's not as bad as um, the other wall. Oh, they all come after you, though. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, You save I... your bullets. Yeah, well, sort of. Oh, yeah, this guy you can get past pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do this room pretty quickly. Good. Yeah, so this shortcut is probably a good idea. Oh, damn it! No, back to level oh, one. <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> Going right back to the beginning. Like you lose everything. Oh my god. It's addicting in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, the Welshman 88. Mm -hmm. It is because it's one of those games you think you should do better. Like it, it, you should be able to do the, to play this game a lot better than <laughs> it appears. And you just make silly mistakes, right? It's like, oh, you just have to shoot the guy. That's it. Ah! <laughs> ah. And you have to turn, which makes you move. Yes. And puts you too close to the guy. So but, in that short, small room, there's but no room. This does feel like a game with more practice. You'll get a lot further in. Like it's, it's, it's not <sighs> the the dynamics and the movement. They're not impossible. It's, no. it's just a bit of practice. And, Crazy. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, the Welshman idiot. I just want to do better each time, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. That guy's fast. He needs to stay there. <laughs> stay in that spot. Yeah. Get trapped there. Okay. Let's do this again. Let's get to level five. Come on, people. Get it together. <laughs> Oh! oh, timing. <sighs> so frustrating. <laughs> oh, I always forget that that you can't you can't actually shoot in the last direction you moved. It's a lie in the manual. A lie, I tell you. <laughs> Dodgy, that guy. That's, there he goes. Yeah, he goes, oh, sorry. sorry. He goes back and forth when he's going up and down and, and you're directly in line. I just downloaded a paid ROM for Intellivision that only runs on my LTO Flash. Nicer than paying $70 a game. Doesn't help if you're not yes, pushing. but what if your LTO Flash dies? What if it goes kaput? You don't have those games anymore. They're done. It's over. Um, if you press them against the wall, does that work? Or does he, Sorry? Like you had him, you were against the wall and he was against the wall and he wasn't jiggling around. So maybe that's a good tactic to shoot that guy. Yeah, he, go he right actually, up against the wall. you're absolutely right. He didn't, uh, he didn't jiggle that, around. Try that again this time. Push him against the wall. Ah, there you go. Okay, we've, we got that guy. Mastered. We know what he's about now. Mastered. Get over there. Um, yeah, so that, the, the Intellivision it. ROMs that are tied to the LTO flash are just <gasps> the same issues that you have with a game that you download for the PS4. <sighs> oh my god, you're going to run out of bullets. No, no, I was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. This is already bad. Yes, it is. Go against the wall. Ah. Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot that guy. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. And you have no bullets left. No, it'll still work out. You can no. still do it. You no, can. No, I don't have time. Oh, you don't have time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you say there's no way to sync our Stella view to yours in a previous episode? There's a pretty big delay between the death we see and the expression of disappointment. <laughs> uh, there is a way. I just have had no time. Mm. Um, yeah, there's offset delays in this, the broadcast software that I use because everything comes in to the broadcast software um, at various times and I have to offset this microphone, that camera, um, and theoretically uh, this audio and video that you're seeing, well the audio and video come at the exact same time, um, from uh, Stella. And I have offsetted my um, hardware Atari as well so that everything comes at the same time. And the webcam too, which is eh, I don't care too much about because it doesn't matter too much. So I don't, even though it is, it is synced up as well. I just keep forgetting to, can you run him against the wall too? Uh, kind of not that. because you can't go, yeah, I was having trouble with that. Try that wall tactic now. And he goes and go to the bottom wall. Maybe all walls will be the the thing to do. That makes this so much easier. Oh, you. What are you doing there? You're not supposed to be there. So much easier! <laughs> it's just these laser gates I have to watch out for. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing fast. there? You can run past him. No, that guy's... Yeah, no, I did. I did last did time. Did you? Yeah. When he was there? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You just, yeah you he's can up just... against the wall. Easy. Yeah, but I, I had had him against the other wall, and then I was running into issues with that. Oh, good job. Oof. Oof, that was that a little was, close. That was very close. And they run the exact same... Well, close enough height to you that... Shooting them horizontally is yeah. fine. Okay. Go, 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 so, go. Lots of time. Do it, do it. Nice. And this guy. Oh, super fast guys now. Ooh, Ooh he was, was jiggly. Lucky. He was. Jiggly like our uh, autofocus. <laughs> That's right. Uh, ah! Damn it. <laughs> so close. Damn it. Second guessing myself and I went back. But I've got a tactic now. So... Oh, we've got lots of people in the chat. That is awesome. Welcome all the people. Yes. And you can read out some names. Cheese curds are great. <laughs> cheese curds are great as yeah, a name? that's a great name. <laughs> uh, cheese curds are great, especially when they're in poutine. Uh, just just for all the non-Canadians out there, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, this reminds me of Flappy Bird, hard but addicting. Yes, yeah. very much so. Those are some of the best games that are just like... You'll notice we've been playing the same levels over and over again. Yeah. Because you're just like, I can get this. We should be going on to the next game, actually. <laughs> we should be, but, but we're not. But it's just, it's it really nicely designed. Yeah, and, it uh, is. Yeah, like in it. Oh. oh. Seriously, I want a video replay of that. Oh. Are you using... Sprite collision. <laughs> Video replay. Mm. To rewatch it on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you're off in your timing there. Though. Mm, I don't know <laughs> about that. I got that guy. I think just the bullet went faster. <laughs> it couldn't display fast enough to shoot him, and it and it happened to go through him because of it was on the odd sixtieth of a second frame. And uh, using hardware collision, it didn't work. Mm. So. No, I think you're often <laughs> <laughs> And because you're using Batari Basic for this game, you definitely used hardware hardware collision mm. most likely. So, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I did push the limit of that, and it was an edge case. There. Let him How come to that? you. Let him yeah. come to you. Oh! Thought my gun was in there. Ah, oh, one more, one more. 
Is that it's cats, cats or, is that or people? people running around? Hold on. There's a bunch of staircase noises. And it, no, that's people. Yeah, it is people. It could, it sounded like a more than the two cats we own. <laughs> Way too many footsteps. But they do have four feet each, so. But it sounded like heavy cats. <laughs> One of our cats is heavy. Um, Atari's a little chunky. He's a chunky monkey. But he's not that chunky. Okay. Oh, red. Boom. See, I'm waiting. I'm waiting now. Oh, you found a cat. Oh, I... Oh, that was unfair. I looked away, and I swear it went through him again. Oh, I'm going to get bitten. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. No, I've got you now. I stole you from your sleeping spot. Oh, he was sleepy? Yeah. Well, no wonder he's mad. <laughs> He's very angry. This is Pixel. This is Pixel. We're going to pick him up. One We're of gonna the two say cats. say hi. Hello. And he's like, ah. Yeah, look out. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's the opposite. Oh, uh, oh I'm so of, sorry. Of the effect he's you feeling right stay. now. You're going to stay. You're going to stay. Maybe. Or he's probably going to leave nice after a stay. second. Yeah. Or he'll start attacking cords and then James will yell at him and then we'll kick him out. <laughs> a normal MO. Anybody? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you stay for a little bit. Okay, this is the last time, last game I'm going to play. And then Tenny can play a game if she likes. <laughs> then we're going to move on. Pixel isn't actually that big a kitty. Um, he just, this is what happens when you have a wide angle lens on your camera. <laughs> oh my god, we're going to have to come back to this game at another point. Okay. Um, it is a work in progress. Am I playing? or You can moving? play one more time okay. if you like. The last time did pass through for sure. Thank you. Thank you for validation. <laughs> It did go through the guy. Like, the bullets move, like, chunkier than um, there is time for them because they move so fast, the bullets. So if you time it up wrong, it can actually miss your opponent. But if your bullets move too slow, it gets really annoying because you can only shoot one bullet at a time. So the speed is, is fine, right? Oh my god. Turn that up terribly. My own cat got very interested in stream when Pixel came on stream. <laughs> yeah. He, he is very alluring. Yeah. That's for sure. He's a very fluffy cat. He has a, a lovely, beautiful... Pixel's a big kitty. Yeah. Uh, he's skinny. I said it's... He's fluffy. He's very fluffy, but he's actually a, quite a small cat. If you wet him down, you'd be, you'd be saying otherwise. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't no, do that. That's, that's, it's a that's bad time for sad. everyone. He gets mow. No, mow. it's so sad. <laughs> Sad wet cats. Yeah. They don't like it. Yeah. They're able to keep their fur just fine. Yeah. Unless they have a problem. Yeah. Oh, poor Pixel. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Diagonal shooting. Okay, one more and then, then, then we'll we move, can on. move on. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure people are getting sick of seeing the same level <laughs> over and over again. Of us dying, being frustrated in the first two, three levels. Never made it to level five in this game. Oh, oh come right on. up against the wall. There you go. Sadness. Sad wet cat sounded like a subreddit. <gasps> uh, oh yeah. Oh, I, I bet, bet. I bet there's a, there subreddit a subreddit for wet cats. Without a doubt, there's a subreddit for wet cats. And probably the subreddit wet wet cats is not what you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's probably named something mm. else. <laughs> Just like um, uh, trees is for. No, trees is for uh, people who smoke pot oh yeah and the uh, ab aborists 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 uh, oh i know what you mean yeah Their, arborists arborists their subreddit is called marijuana enthusiasts oh, really yes and it's all about trees and people talking about trees <laughs> probably I because i really do yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> and they're both perfectly fine uh, i'm sure the trees one was taken first and they went yeah. oh well we're just gonna or they swapped at some point just never mm. swapped back i don't know the history of it but it's so funny um so we're gonna move on to the next game which is called goon oh it's still playing is it <laughs> you can hear it in the background yeah there we go uh goon goon 
Hmm. Goon, goon, goon. <laughs> goon Nights. It was Goon something. By Glenn Main. And this was first posted October 9th, a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a 4K game. So, and you can download in the Atari Age forums mm -hmm. right now. So let's load that up. Goon Nights. And let me change mm. the graphic. I'm already intrigued with these with these uh Yeah, the these graphics. graphics. Yeah. Good nights. This looks like a shooting game. It is a shooting is game. Is it really? It is. <laughs> I see the red X. Yep. And it's uh interesting. The controls. They're not what you think it is. So there you go. You can start on it if you like. See if you can figure it out before I What? Do what? the instructions. What is going on? Uh, Goon Knights is a simple gunner for the Atari 2600. Shoot guns, shoot goons and their natural elements shooting at you. This is my first game on the console. Rules are simple. Shoot goons at window. Maybe it's not started. There you go. Why is it, why is it doing that? That's your aimer. That's how you aim. I'm confused. Yeah, maybe you want to wait for the instructions. Yeah, yeah. Atari light gun. Uh, no, not in this game. <laughs> that would be very cool, though. Somebody was thinking about doing the light gun, and I don't know why it couldn't be done. Because the Atari works at 60th of a second, and the way the NES worked is it sensed light squares on the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. And it flashed them. Yeah. The whole screen went black, except for where the sensor is. Yeah. You pull the trigger... The Atari knows you pulled the trigger. It changes the screen to black except for the target. Mm. Like that guy. But say it's that so guy. fast and you can't see it. You can see it. Well, but it's but fast enough can't. it's not annoying. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I swear somebody... There is an Atari light gun. It's for the um, um, Atari 8-bit system. I can't remember if somebody said you could use it for the 2600. but If I, you wanted to, yeah. Like, but to nobody's develop for it. made a... Somebody made a game. Can somebody look that up? Um, yeah, there was one, two. XCGS. I think it was. Yeah, but that's not the Atari. Uh, it's oh, not no. the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. But yeah, yeah, there is a light gun that does plug into a normal, like standard mm -hmm. port. Um, and I think it would be amazing to make a light gun game. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe it uses a different, use it in a different way. You might have to adapt an NES light gun, mm -hmm. which are way more available and cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. We'll get back to that, and I'll have to look into that. <laughs> Rules detailed. Um, shoot goons using your sights across controlled via a joystick. Goons remaining is the left score, so four left. Mm. Um, I'll start it again. Uh, current, current level is the right score, one. Mm. Is it not working? There. Oh, maybe now it's working. But, but what is this? Shoot them. There you go. Shoot them. Move your joystick. It doesn't move. Oh, it. now it's moving. There it wasn't you go. moving before. <laughs> um, I think it wasn't start restarted. Night Weird. light games don't usually work on flat screens, but if you had a curved screen, no, they don't work on flat screens. Uh, very well, because the reflection or something is not correct. Because uh, the I don't know why they don't work on flat screens. It's, oh, that's always a mystery too. It's probably because of the um, CRT timings, and these don't use the same timing or something like that. Oh, my nose is itchy. Probably from the cat. Need a CRT for it. On the one twenty six hundred game works with a light gun or joystick. Yes, Sentinel. Sentinel is a twenty six hundred game that works with the light gun. Oh, I have to look that up. Um, goons remaining increases by one infrequently with the time spent on any level. Kind of an inflation, because all goons love inflation. Uh, goons remaining will start out at the next level's value. Level 1, 1 goon to get. Level 10, 10 goons to get, plus inflation. Is your game over? Am I, am I trying, to ki trying to get just the goon? Yeah, shoot the goons. Yeah, but the... Shoot them. That's a goon. That's What's a goon? I don't know. Maybe they're all goons. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe they're all bad guys, because they all seem know. to turn into bad guys. They all shoot you. As opposed to, like, that NES game. Uh, Gangster Alley? I, I, this doesn't make any sense, so I'm not getting any points for shooting these things. Are you actually shooting them? Yeah. I don't see you shooting them. There, you shot that guy. And he turned yellow. There, you're shooting that yeah, guy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you press in the direction. You press the button. Yeah. When the X is on him. Okay. Yep. 
but you're not holding it in that direction. No, you but I am holding it. In, I am holding it in that direction. There you go. Now you're getting it. Now you're shooting them. Yeah, but I'm not getting any points for shooting it. <laughs> That's know. what I don't understand. Uh, score strip changes colors to reflect the player's health. I guess at the top. Okay. It's red. Sequence equals gray, yellow, amber, reddened amber, red, with final shots fired by a goon that bullet takes you out. So is that him shooting when his, his he's going he goes up? Yeah. It must be. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Oh, I am. Yeah, dead. gray. Okay. It takes a lot of shots. I don't. I don't. That's what I'm confused about. I can't even get it up there. I can't even get the X to go up. Up to the left. No. no. Oh, Here. It was working. There you go. There you go. Got that one. Did I? I can't get it up there. That's so weird. The sights move from left to right depending on, on the window chosen. You try. Okay. It's just weird. It's, you it's, read this. Rest, it's, it's going very strange. The sights move from light to left to right depending on window chosen. A window is auto height adjusted for the player, meaning that if a goon is on the upper floor, the sights will be in that band. Oh, okay. The player must just choose left or right with the joystick. Oh. That's why I'm trying to go up and down. That would explain a lot. That's why it's not working. Uh, choosing nothing returns you back to the hedge. Pushing up gets you to the center window, where you may experience the refreshing goon. The refreshing. He's so <laughs> to refreshing. attack a goon, once you've judged your sights over, use the joystick button. This will freeze sight movement. Oh. Key button held for rapid bullet action. The Google oh. flash indicating hits. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain a lot more. You just hold it. There we go. Okay. So I made it to level five. Now it makes more sense. <laughs> the refreshing goon is a special event. Whichever one appears at the center window and is curiously shaped as a health cross. Yeah. Happens oh, to be yeah, your brief right. opportunity to not only reduce goons remaining, but completely restore your health. Okay. To select this window, press up with your joystick. Center is when using up from the resting hedge position. Resets, pr resets proximal when taken from another focused window. Release trigger to allow for re-aim animation. Or choose a new window moving the joystick left or right. Release all to take cover at the hedge. You may need to re-aim during a goon swap at the same window. There are three types of goons. Your standard goon with hat, a mustachioed biker, so uh, your standard goon with hat, a mustachioed biker goon with bandana, and Stoopy, the stubborn dunce goon who wants to know Stoopy. what all the commotion is about. Okay. Stoopy doesn't know any better than to just stand there and take it. <laughs> After enough abuse, this will energize any next shot by a goon to avenge with blood rage. Hmm. Which means you losing a health color on contact. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I want to know whether, like, shooting anybody at any time is bad or good yeah so goon code don't pick on the defenseless i uh, oh. so hitting stoopy nonetheless decreases the goon remaining count which may tip you into the next level and cleaner health so much for a code so so shooting that guy is bad but shooting that guy is okay well it just means if 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 they shoot you then then it takes more of your health out Mustachio goon, and then there's the hat goon, and then there's Stoopy. I don't understand which one's Stoopy. <laughs> he has no hat and no mustache. That's a mustache. That's a mustache. That's a hat. That's a mustache. That's Stoopy. I'm still gray, so that's, that's good. That's the hat. Okay, gotcha. Oh, oh, that took me down. Like, I was shooting him the whole time. Yeah, but he, he shoots you once, and especially if you don't hit Stoopy. Okay. You can tell he's the dumb guy. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, I got I don't think I'm supposed to 11. shoot the guys till they shoot Here. me, right? Uh, levels transition when goons remaining are one, and you take out the last goon. This rota rotates the background sky through bright colors and alerts the sound. It's unmistakable, really. 
What was that? What was that? Sorry. Levels transition when goons oh. remaining are one, and you take out the last goon. That's what that flashing is. And this is. rotates the background sky through bright colors and alerts us, alerts us out. It's unmistakable, really. During this time, hits against health are briefly suspended. That's stupid. I think. Or I could be wrong. I seem to do um. just as good shooting constantly <laughs> as I do when I wait until he turns. Yeah. Like, look at that. I'm shooting constantly. I'm still gray. Yellow, back to gray. That one was too fast. Damn it. It's a possible light gun on a flat panel being held up because of company's obsession with preventing cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. There you go. You can give it a try, but I'm not, I'm just, I still don't get it. Whether you can shoot all the time and you're not punished for it, because it doesn't seem you're punished for it. Because you're still gray and you shot the whole time. And then you shot the whole time there. Still gray. Still fine. Oh, now it's yellow. That was like instant yellow. A goon can be in three stages of presentation. Standing there very goonish. Looking pleased for himself. Uh, aiming his weapon and not firing. He'll know how to get the drop on a goon. He'll soon know how to get the drop on a goon here. Or aiming his weapon actually firing in unpleasant situation. A goon, in sequence, may stand, take fire, then return fire. Alternately, a goon may be aiming but is unable to return fire. Somebody doesn't matter. You're just too busy taking care of yourself. Oh, you're doing really good. Am I? I don't feel like I'm doing very good. You just got all your health back. You're on stage five. Got one guy left. Stage six. Beat me. Six, four. Six, two. Six one. Oh, that would have been a refresher guy. That would go. Was you. it? Yeah, in the bottom middle. Is it always Six, a refresher one. guy? Yep, always. You shoot him, and you go you back go to gray up. at the top. But I find it hard. I'm like hitting right and left, and it's not really where it's supposed to be. I think it resets after you fire. If you fire, let go. It resets, and you have yeah, to press again. Yeah, maybe that's again. it. I'm not. I'm not. Like you have to go. reset the reset the left and the right. Right. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I think it's just too easy any other way. Um, leveling. Recoup some of your health. This is shown in the improved color of the score strip until pro improvable no further. Great. The game ends when you run out of health or goons remaining have inflated beyond 99. In either instance, a red score strip is presented and play is over. If you get over level 99, I have no idea. Never been able to get that far. To play again, use the console's reset switch. There are no other settings at this time. Yeah, there's no penalty for shooting him too early, like in other games. And there's no innocence. Like, this house is just full of bad guys. No, it's not. There's Stoopy who's an innocent, and apparently he reduces your, your health oh, a lot faster. Oh, the Stoopy. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the Stoopy. Stoopy, the stubborn dunce who wants to know what the commotion about. Stoopy doesn't know any better than just stand and take it. After enough abuse, this will energize any next shot by a goon to avenge with blood range. Don't pick on the defenseless. Now I have to figure out what stupid looks like. I'm pretty sure he's the dumb one. They all look dumb. That guy? No, there's a mustachioed and then there's a hat. He's mustachioed. Yeah. yeah. And then that's the hat guy. Okay. I got you all your health back. What? what? It's so weird sometimes. That guy. Yeah. But he just turned into a guy that... Yeah, that's stupid. And then the next time I get shot, I'm going to lose a lot of uh, life. Okay. So don't shoot that guy. So you just stand. Okay. Get, oh, so close. Seven. Level seven. Oh, I died? Yep. Okay. Time for another. So you're not supposed to... Yeah, you're supposed to shoot the guy in the center. He gives you all your health back. <laughs> no, you are supposed to shoot the guy in the center. Oops. Sorry, Stoopy. You are supposed to shoot the guy in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's the most 
the guy you're supposed to shoot the most. Well, yeah, because he gives you your health. Yeah. Don't hit. It does a funny thing, yeah. It's the once resetting every once in a while. It, um... <gasps> Sorry, Stoopy. <laughs> <laughs> what is that beer? It is actually not beer. It is apple ginger lone tree cider. So. It's, it's... Shoot! Ah! Oh, I almost shot Stoopy. Oh, no. Come on. the game we got the beer game or beer <laughs> game or beer <laughs> apple ginger cider very good for fall shoot oh good i got that guy okay, it looks like he's not upset that's mm -hmm. a mustache right oh, sorry if you don't kill him it's okay as long as you don't kill him i think yeah so you can shoot him once. But... I think you can shoot him once, but he doesn't seem to shoot back at you. No. Eight. Good job. Eight goons. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, you, you have, have to, to shoot eight. You have to shoot eight goons. Oh, good. Just yeah. in time because I missed that guy. You beat him. I hit seven, right? Yeah. Oh, nine. Good job. Ah, reset. Good. <gasps> Sorry, stupid. <laughs> you have to apologize to Stupy. Yeah. Every him, time cause... you hit Stupy. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy in the center only appears for like a very short amount of time, so you have to be really quick with him. It's very quick, yeah. It's actually a pretty good game. The controls are a bit wonky. They're, they're, like, they are really a bit wonky. Weird. Like they, they, they kind don't... of reset improperly sometimes, and so yeah. you're, like, you're hitting right and left, but you're not actually hitting right. And it doesn't go where you want it to. Like left, right, mm -hmm. for some reason. But it's it kind of makes it feel a little bit more um, chaotic. Yeah, so it kind of works, but it's not perfect all the time. Eleven, Ooh, kicking butt. So I don't know if it's going any faster though. Oh my, health is just getting worse and worse. But I was hitting every one of them, yeah, like really quick. But you probably get fewer ones in the middle. Good. I I we will we, we'll retire on that score. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm good with that. You will retire on that score. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Let me reset it here. Start with that. It's weird. Why does it reset like that? It's weird. I'm not sure. It's like. Maybe it's, oh, maybe because you're not, like, it's, I'm holding it. It's going, you're it's pressing going... up accidentally, and that's what's resetting no. it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not shooting, I'm just. Testing. Yeah, like, oh, see, it's, it's not being weird now. Maybe I am pushing that. Yeah, because after a while, I didn't have that trouble. Stoopy. Stoopy. <laughs> S-T-E-W-P-Y. Poor Stoopy. Just checking it out. I got to 11. Oh, good. Reset. At least we understand the game now. Yeah. It's, it's a little It was confusing. not intuitive when we first started. No. Tempting. Ah, good job. Guys, it's weird. I must be pushing up. So pretty. No, it keeps going up. That's it. yeah. It, it's re it keeps restarting it up sometimes. Mm. I don't know why. Oh, good job. 
Just in time. Pretty good for a 4K game. The nice background and lots of different characters. And nice green up front. Precise, uh, yeah. Like sometimes my shots are precise, which is fine, but sometimes it's, it is resetting to the middle. Really weird. Stop it! <laughs> Taking a long time on level eight because it keeps adding guys to. Uh, oh, what is it? What is it score. doing? Oh, just good. No, don't hit Stoopy. Needs better controls. Yeah. It's unusual. It uh it's a little sensitive, let's say. I think it might be the controller too, I don't know. It I think it might be. Don't don't shoot Stoopy. I think it might be the controller. A little smushy. Yeah, I, I find that D-pad a little smushy. In yeah. general, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not the best. Oh, did it. Good reset. Level 10. Got eight guys left. No, no! Leave him alone. There's some middle. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, towards the end of my game, it wasn't giving me any middle, guys. It's quite random, so you could be, yeah. be screwed if you don't get the right uh, sequence of guys. One more. Level 11! can't remember what I got. 11 something. Level 1? Four. No. Sorry, stupid. He's very forgiving. I mean, you shot him like three times. Yeah. <laughs> three more to go. Two. Two. One. Twelve! Oh. Beat me! Again. I'm still completely confused as how the controls work. Yeah. <laughs> There's only three directions. It scrolls around the screen. There's only three directions and the fire button. Oh, 13. You press Woo! left yeah. or right. So that guy's on the left, that guy's on the right. So you press right and then fit, press the fire button to shoot him. The middle one, you press up to shoot the middle one. And I can tell that 10 is pressing up because it keeps going to the up position. Oh, dead. 13. Good Woo. job. <sighs> um, and then once you press a direction, your aimer goes across the screen mm -hmm. like this. And you have to press the button at the right time while it's over it. Yeah. It's quite a, a good mechanic for mm -hmm. this. And after a while, you just you know exactly how... The delay you have to wait yeah. to press press hit press hit like it's like yeah. it's 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 the timing of hitting the button boom, so boom. that the X is boom. on top of the goon. Yeah, it's like um, left hit yeah. right hit yeah. left hit yeah. 
Yeah, it is the timing. I, but don't have a D-pad that you mash yeah. up accidentally because make instead sure. of going left or right, you end up in the middle. Yeah, make and sure. it starts resetting to the middle, which yeah, is, is so make sure a you little bit frustrating. So I'll show you. Okay, so I yeah. press... Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, see, it's not, not just me. Actually, you know what? Only you... shoot the goon that is shooting at you. Yeah, well, there's one guy... You know what? If what you press that? down, you're fine. Yeah. So keep holding down and then just push up when you need to push up. Yeah. Yeah. But again, this this might be a product of the um, the remote a little bit. Yeah, the controller. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... Yeah. Sorry, the controller. You just have to be careful not to press up too much. But yeah. Mm. It is, makes a lot more sense when you play mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Rather than watching us play, because it's you, not as easy. It was to frustrating understand. trying to do it without not without understanding what the controls were. Oh my god! Yeah, because <laughs> like, you don't think, understand. oh, I have to press What's up to going on? up to the left, up to the right, down to the left, that's, down to the that's right. That's what you think, but is, it's actually just left and right. Yeah, which yeah. I don't know if that would make it better, but I think left and right just makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so, great! Actually, it was a great game. Yeah, um, it's 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 more fun than it kind of probably comes across as because it looks yeah. very frustrating. But, um, it's it's not. But if fun. you have a good controller, yeah. it's really it's actually quite fun. Yeah, and good graphics, great mm -hmm. for a 4K game. So um, great job. Um, I want to say his name, so I don't mm. give him it? kudos. Texas, no. Uh, Glenn Maine knows the Glenn other guy. Oh, other yeah. guy. Glenn Maine, yeah. good job, Glenn Maine, and yes. it's his first game. Great concept really? because yeah, you, very cool. you don't see this type of game very much. Well, the um, yeah, the shooter, the shooter for the Atari. Yeah, yeah. and if you do, yeah. you have to move the crosshair over. Yeah, but that takes too long and is very imprecise. So having it just left, right, left, right. Yeah, only shoot the goon that shot shoots you. No, you just no. shoot them. No, you shoot them all. But there's what was it, S Stimpy, Stimpy, <laughs> Stimpy. I want to say Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stumpy. Stoopy. Uh, Stoopy. Stoopy. Ren and Stoopy. Stoopy. Uh, so there's one guy who looks kind of dumb, dopey. and if you leave him alone, he doesn't shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you wanted to add to this game, I mean, he says he's done, but if you wanted to add to this game, you'd probably have to make it into an 8K and have more characters. Yes. Um, and different colored characters and yes. have innocent characters mm. that are hostages that you don't want to shoot. Mm. You can see the guy who just looks like uh, the Scream who is just a big bald head. Uh, and just with a one pixel mouth. Um, he'll come up in a second. Him. There. Yeah, that guy. bald head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you wanted to make it more complicated, I think mm. he could uh, add innocent people mm. and make that more visible with different colors. It should be a child. Yeah, a little kid. <laughs> a child want to shoot comes them. to the window. Yeah, and you lose points. Yeah, a little girl in a dress. You lose health if you shoot the the bad the, the one you're not yeah. supposed to shoot. Yeah, I think I think um, the the stumpy, stoopy. I'm <laughs> gonna get it wrong. Stoopy, yeah. stoopy, stewy, stoopy. Um, <laughs> I think the stoopy uh, looks too much like the goons in some ways. Like it would be good if it looked like uh, or colors. No, colors. because no? that would be too easy, I think. If it, uh, if it popped up a different color, you'd probably catch on to it right A lot of SNA USB pads I've had have really wonky directionals. Yeah, yeah I think I've noticed that. With this, this is one. a retro, well... Retro, retro link. link? But it's the D-pads, I find, aren't always great. Yeah. No, very mushy. Yeah. Very mushy D-pads. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever played this game, so... I have never played this game. Really? Skiing. Skiing. Yep. Not this one. Um, Good old act. So I believe it's just left and right. Um, oh my goodness! Why am I going so far? Okay, you press left way no. too much. Oh, oh too much. sorry, sorry, sorry. I I moved away from the controls. Let's start that again. Okay. Because I had to adjust something. So we're going for the patch in this one, and let's see what we have to get. Actually, there's a commercial I want to play first. Okay, while well, I'm playing. Uh, after your game. Uh, this was put out in 1980 by Bob Whitehead. It's a 2K game. Very small game with very nice graphics for 2K. Like, look at those trees. Um, and I believe those are achieved by either a missile or a ball um, and shifting them. Actually, it probably makes more sense that they're the ball. Um, because the flags are probably the other player, um, the skier. So 43 seconds, and what we're aiming for is 28.2. So 
So we're going to take a look at the commercial first. Okay. So let me cue that up. Hmm. This commercial is from 1980 because this came out in 1980. Hmm. So let's take a look at this. Hopefully it doesn't blast everybody's ears. We'll see. Activision asked me to demonstrate their exciting new video game, Skiing. Pop the cartridge into your Atari video computer system and fly through downhill courses <laughs> over moguls. <laughs> A small bubble. Many slopes to challenge you. Try the slalom race. Shush to take pace. Sacre bleu. <laughs> and voila, it's skiing by Activision. So real you must have it. Snow kidding. <laughs> I think I hurt myself. So, cheesy uh, accent, cheesy puns there. <laughs> uh, so, let's get back to the game here. 23, eh? Twen no, twen what is it? 23. 28.2. 28, uh, 28. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's on game three, actually. So. Uh, the D Train 37 says, I can remember playing this when it first came out and being very excited that the trees look so good. They, they do are, look but... really good. Oh, my God. Oh, and that. it resets with the button. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> that's pretty oh. rare. Um, right now. Actually, no, you just keep going. Yeah, but you would you get a default on your time. Do you? Did it? Uh... Oh, I don't know, I would assume. Because it's a fail if you don't get demo. Uh, maybe not in this game. Charles Riss, yep. uh, I love seeing you can have many variations of switches, like move across the screen. I did miss one hour. So. See, yep. I didn't miss any, but it did take me 43 <laughs> seconds. I was like... <laughs> I you're supposed to avoid those gray things, or they help no, you, no, they or... don't seem to do much, so that's okay. You oh, look at that. But it wasn't 34, it was like 27, and then it went bump, because I missed some. Mm. So let's read the instructions. Oh, let's see what... Uh, see the button sets. Good job, Bob. <laughs> and Bob Whitehead goes to the like, PRG all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so the world record is 27.94. <gasps> no, no. Which is a four-way tie. No. Other games he's done, Home Run, Football, Blackjack, Casino, Starship, Video Chess, Boxing, Stampede, Terrible. Chopper Command, Private Eye, Skiing, and Sky Jinx. And we played Sky Jinx and Stampede. Got mine and Stampede, not Sky Jinx. Uh, very Terrible. close, I think. Horrible. 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 The great things are moguls. I believe in some games they slow you down, so you either avoid them or jump over them. Okay, you can jump? Can you press a button to jump? No. No? I don't think so, because the button that's we'll there is terrible. So this is game three. There's 30 gates, and it's an expert run, it says. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is... Oh yeah, 30 gates in this here at the top is 30 gates. Um, too much, too much. The hills for games one through four are permanently set. So these are, this, this is the same every time. Um... Start the skier, move the joystick in a position, just tap it. The joystick controls the position of the skis. Push it to the left, and the ski tips will move to the left. Push to the right, and your ski tips will move to the right. The longer you hold the joystick in either direction, the farther your skill skis will go. Until they reach horizontal, you can't see the hill. Your skiers will go in the direction your skis are pointed and reach maximum downhill, downhill speed when the skis are pointed directly downhill. So obviously, you want to keep them pointing down as much as possible yeah. to reach maximum speed. Um, it's basically like skiing, so, you know. <coughs> okay. Oh, I suppose to skiers, player zero, everything else is player one. Those flip sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, nothing is on the same plane as anything else. Oh, okay. So... They didn't use any missiles, any balls. Just two, the two players. Oh, 
You've got to <laughs> slow down around some of these. It's almost like you need to memorize take... the course. Well, we will. <laughs> that's the, that's <sighs> going to be... It's just going to be like, stay to the left. Go right. Go right. right. We have to get to the part about muggles. If you hit a tree or gate, don't lose heart. Your ski will come, jump back up and keep going. The red button is not used. <sighs> But can be used instead of the game reset switch. Reset the ski are so rare in old school games. But to do that. Don't push unless you want to start over. Did you miss any? No. No, no I did. I think I missed one. Special features. To reach the bottom of the hill in the fastest time. Blah, blah, blah. The red button your joystick is only used when your right difficulty switches up or at A, which it is not. It's in B. And that's what the patch is for. Um, good night, Arena Foot. Oh, good night, Arena Foot. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. But the left difficulty switch. Where's the mogul information? What the hell? I don't see anything about that. I'm sure if you hit a tree. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, the red button. Then you must push the button to make your skier jump any of the moguls in your path. Timing of doing the downhill racing? No, we're not. Okay. So the moguls do absolutely nothing in this, uh, set this uh, setting. This setting. That second one there is terrible. Uh, so stay to the left at the beginning. Right? No, it's... At least we don't need a cat reset button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that certainly helps when one person has to sit on the floor and press the reset. There, that one's hard. You, start, you gain speed. Yeah. Left again. Okay. Right. Oh, it's almost there. How many gates? Are there? Oh, I can't and get over right, fast enough. Left. Yeah. And right. Okay. There's a lot of gates. Thirty. Thirty gates. It's it's not gates the, it's not the maximum one. You don't have to memorize all of them. You just have to know which direction, which side to stay near. No, not really, because no? you're going back and forth. It gets challenging. They're not varying not, that much. Yeah, but... Like just a tiny bit. But you, you, you reach certain ones, and you have to be slower, or you won't get to the next gate. You know what I mean? Mm. So you can move without um, getting your skis oh. pointed. But he does get up again, eh? Try the left difficulty and switch A positions to get the cool effect of the whole screen moving. Oh. Yeah, but we're going for a patch. <laughs> oh, Maybe we'll try that. Oh, right by the end. Six. Oh, and it added bad time to you. Yeah, it does, because I skipped. For crashing I or skipping? One. Missing. So let's just... Crashing slows you down, but if you miss one, you get a penalty. Oh, wow. That's really amazing. And because they're using player characters, they can do that. <laughs> anyway, this is not the patch qualifying uh, setting. So that is very, very, very cool. Very few games for the Atari to do that. Oh my god. Jared Gray West, it is 28, the time to catch? Uh, 28. Uh, one second. <laughs> Making me look. I'm pretty good, actually. Uh, Super speedy. Well, you haven't hit a gate yet. Yeah, 28.2. Let's see. Wait, you've got to do this right to the end. Now. Oh, you smacked it. <laughs> Keep going. 
That would be a funny nothing. hack if you just find the right position and you just go straight down the screen. You get some with so many penalty points. Yeah, it depends. Two left ones first. Oh, not yet. There. Mm -hmm. You have to slow down to hit both of those, I find. But maybe hug them really close. I don't know if I'm missing Easier those or not. Done. So it doesn't tell you when you miss them. Uh, doesn't make a noise. No, it's a shame it doesn't have like a big red X or something, you know, like, oh, you've missed this many gates. Oh, yeah. Like it should go mm. eh. Because you can put your skis like right next to it. This is really making me want to ski right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it has been. <laughs> like actual skiing. Yeah. And uh, our skier is in a pink one, so. <laughs> yes. Authentic to the era. 36. I yeah, missed one, though. Me. I missed one. Oh, my God. But you can reset. He knows that uh, it's a hard game. <laughs> <laughs> This didn't have a patch when it was first put out. Some of it they did retroactive patches. Mm. They didn't introduce patches right away. Mm. This must have been a pretty early game. Yeah, 1980. Mm, really early. early. Yeah. It was 79 when they split. Wow. Oh, this is so. This is Activision. Yeah, that's true. Activision on its own. Yeah. Oh my god. How did that even happen? Too much beer. No, it was too much cider. Cut off. Oh. Had a uh, skiing accident here. Too much cider. How does it do? It was just on the edge of the uh, coaster. Put down a coaster to try and save your furniture. And it falls off the coaster. And it falls off the coaster. Jeez, that's scary. Why do we think that it's going to be easy? And then it's ter terribly not easy <laughs> to get these. And I guess the world record is only one second difference. Is it? Yeah. Seriously? From the patch. Oh my goodness. It's what? like that other game. What oh. was that other game that was like only one second difference between the world record and what you need to get the patch? It was the, the flight one. Oh, the barnstorm. The barnstorm was really tough. Didn't quite oh. that one either. Well, at least it doesn't smell like beer. Like... A little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better than stick. Oh my god. Flags are random? Not in this setting. In uh, other settings. Someone just made the screen flash. Did you touch something? Did I? Know? I don't think so. Touch the power cable? What power cable? There's no power cable here. Power cable to the laptop. The screen flash is oh, dim. This, yeah, it's probably. Yeah, just make sure it's plugged in. That's terrible. Power cable. Ah! Yeah. 
left. And a bunch of right, and I think it goes left again. Yeah, 35, that's wonderful. It's not a real score, because I missed one. Bloody hard. Anybody else got this patch? Thirty-one point four seven. Pretty good. Somebody type that in. Can you type that in for me? Thirty-one point four seven. So far, so good. That's like twenty-eight, right? Mm-hmm. So three seconds off. Really, the key is to not tangle your skis too much. Mm -hmm. It's like light taps. Light taps. If you can. Ooh, 30.54. Oh, RC70 is on it. Oh, good. 30.54. 5.2. 5.2, sorry. 30.52. 32. Oh, RC70. Yeah, I think he's, he's good. He's got it. Okay, your turn now. Oh, I'm not going to get that, but... It's really not that... It's more than Crazy climbing. of a course. Yeah, but I, I overshoot. It's easy yeah. to overshoot. It's light taps. It's staying on in the middle of them, or if it's on the left, it's like staying that's, on the right. That's, that's, it's like you go over way too far, then you have to like adjust. And kind of knowing the course a little bit. Knowing that the first extreme is a left, and the second extreme is a left. And then going back immediately after, because after an extreme, it just goes back. Are going too fast, I find. Well, yeah, that like fast. that. That's really hard to catch that that gate. Yeah. Oh, you overshoot so much, so much. Good. Yeah, I'm getting the same score every single time. 41. It's like 41, 42. Oh, overshooting too much. I mean, the scores aren't going to be good unless you get it. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. Oh, no, you're doing so good there. No, because I'm anticipating that stupid one <laughs> comes up to the left and you can't recover from. Yeah, it's too, too much. This guy has no skill plow <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. No well, penalties. That was better. So T, 34.21. Make sure you put T and J. My yeah, turn? I just go again. Yeah, you can go again. Because that was good. 34.21. That, was that wasn't one. bad. Yeah, that was decent. 34.21 T. There. Thank you for mm -hmm. very much, Arcee. Mm -hmm. Sorry.
Damn oh, it. you missed one. I know. Damn it! Trying to thread them. <laughs> you don't have to turn as much. Yeah. But it turns you get going too fast, and then you start going out of control. <laughs> yeah. It's like this wavy out of control <laughs> movement. <laughs> Very realistic. It is actually <laughs> certainly the way I ski. <laughs> ah. Getting into snow. <laughs> going too fast. Ah. Uh, out of control. Uh, Not so close to the flags, <laughs> it's just getting too frustrating. Let's see what kind of time I can get. Yes, Kilos80 says, look on the bright side, at least there's no birds in this game. Yeah. Oh my god. The birds. <laughs> the birds are so much harder to avoid than, yeah. than this. This, I think, is almost just memorization of the pattern. Oh, I mean, the other one was too. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's easier to figure leeway. it out. Yeah, it's easier to figure it out. The birds and figuring your way through the birds is, was quite challenging. Uh, <laughs> uh. You drift and... The graphic is the same for if you're still, if you're still, or you're moving on some of the graphics. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to tell whether he's sliding or if he's moving. That, that's too slow. I hate that. It should always be like moving a little bit. continue to play, but maybe a break is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one's hard. To yes, that. some of them are. Some of them are, are, are definitely hard. Especially when they go across, Damn and like it. you, you over-anticipate. You're okay. You're doing. Fine. Well, no, because I missed one. Thirty-six. So it just destroys you five seconds penalty. Don't bother putting that down. <laughs> <laughs> Anything above 30, I'm not going to... Don't bother writing it down. Oh, but you haven't hit below 30. Yeah, but I got 30.52, okay. which is close enough to 30. And I have to get below 30 <sighs> to finish it. At least you can reset really quickly. That is oh, definitely so good. good. Because the, well, the buttons used in the game um, on the other, the other type of thing. 
with is the moguls. It? You have to jump the moguls on the like, oh, I see. style of game. That's where there's a sweet spot with the um, Atari Vision Activision patches, where they first started putting out the patches, and it was a little bit easier. Yeah, 31.95. So, T31.95. That is really good. Where they started putting out the patches where it wasn't too hard to get a patch. Yeah. And this is one of those retroactive patches where they're like, no, we're giving out too many patches. We're yeah, gonna make this it is really getting really hard. too easy for people. <laughs> we need them to have a good challenge. That one's challenging. I'm gonna have to hug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that no. that one is really hard. Is there moment? I don't I don't feel like there's much momentum. There in this is game. there is momentum. There's something going on. There. Not much momentum. As soon as you turn, it's quite Maybe. quick. <laughs> so it's not like Sky Jams where it's like, oh, you have to anticipate and turn before. It happens. Good job. Even better. 31.33. In television? No, we are playing uh, Atari 2600 games. This is an Activision game where we're trying to get a certain score. 28.3 in order to get the patch. To qualify oh. for a little patch that they used to give away. Obviously, Activision is not giving away patches for this anymore, even though the company is still around. They should um, be. I 40... think they should be held to their previous contracts. <laughs> that's, that's right. Well, I do have the game somewhere, so an actual cartridge. But I'd have to play that cartridge and take a photo of my television and uh, and then mail it to them. So you have to if you follow through with all those things, maybe then they would they wouldn't have patches left, so that's the problem. Ooh. 32 is a little slower. So the game is all about minimizing your movement. Yes. yes. It is. It's yes, just keeping it your skis as straight as possible. Keep up that speed. Yeah. Some of them that, are hard, like that, that one. That turn, you almost need to slow for it. Yeah, because it's so mm -hmm. far out. Not true, they still give patches. Uh... Not that I've heard. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I haven't heard anybody get a, a patch for a very, very long time. Maybe for, uh, Maybe for the other games? Maybe for newer games? Maybe uh, digital patches now? <laughs> like you get uh, trophies on yeah. the PS4 and Xbox. Yeah, those kind of patches. I watched another streamer, they got all the patches. Oh. Well, you can buy the patches. Yes. At, on the internet and at retro gaming conventions. So you can get patches still, but you can't get them from Activision. Oh. oh. And that's what I plan on doing, is actually just buying the patches that's later. Cool. Yeah. Um, but they range from like $30 to $300, depending on the patch. So, and I think so. I don't know how many game qualifying patches there are. There's around 40 of them. So, if you multiply that out, it's a lot of money. <laughs> so, but it'll take you a long time to actually get all the patches because some of the games are, oh, they're doing well. Some of them are not easy yet. I think I've gotten maybe close to 10 now. Not 10, but close to 10. Close to 10? Yeah. Eight? Eight, nine. Oh. At least five. <laughs> I know there's some that I'm, I'll be able to get really easy, like tennis. Tennis is like one of the easiest ones to get, but I'm going to save that till I'm starting to feel really bad about not getting the patches for a while. Tennis is easy. Hockey's easy, which I both have not got yet. I just haven't played them. Um, then there's games where there's three levels of patches. And I've played Robot Tank. Whoa! I got 31.33. 31.33. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Very good. Still, i got to shave three seconds off. I'm not going to shave three seconds. I think you just need a perfect run. Like, Stop you can't... You can't... 
Yeah, exactly. You can't over, like there's one part where you kind of have to slow yourself down to hit that turn, but the rest of it you just have to bomb it. Pretty much, it's that one turn that's tough. That's it. Yeah, the rest of them are pretty, to get to the if you're there. in the zone, if you've had one and a half siders because half your siders are on the floor, <laughs> uh, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling in the zone for some right now. Good. Got the right amount of alcohol. <laughs> I've got the right amount of alcohol. It's the same thing with um, playing billiards or pool. Pinball. <laughs> Pinball. Pinball. 29 9, 5. Ooh, Sub 30. That was good. That was good. Yeah, I, I took that turn really good. RC70 is on it. Is he? I think so. You can do it anyway. Oh, he's got it. No, never mind. Has it got a J beside it? Yep. Excellent. Yeah, 29 9, Very happy with that one. Mm? Not going to keep going? Um, No. Let's face it out. I got that, that second left flag really well. Because you have to you have to know when it's coming and start steering towards mm -hmm. it. Oh, I was actually do doing... Oh, too much. I'm actually playing. And that's really the only really hard... The rest of them feel pretty intuitive. You might still have to optimize the rest, but... I think you might, but... And just yeah. not make bad steering choices. You still have to steer, no matter what, to get over. Oh, like you're overcorrecting all over the place. No, but I'm 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 so trying. I'm almost just playing with shot. it. I'm playing. I'm playing oh, with it a okay. little. Sorry, I'm not. Oh, that was awful. Twenty nine ninety five. Wasn't that the price of the game when it came out? Maybe. Could have been. Sounds, Sounds about very right. High. For 1980s very services. Oh uh, no, they were expensive. Were they? Yeah, they were. They're, they're expensive. More expensive then than they were now. Well. Than they are now. Now, now Relatively. they're like two dollars. Why? Uh, what? No, no, no. <laughs> New games now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like premium games. I guess premium games are like 70 or 80 Canadian. Right. Like which three? Well, when they first came out, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. $60, 60 70 80 okay. Non-digital ones. Not uh, over Like During my last good run there, I was pretty much that for a while. So you can do that if you get the right spot. That's right. And then left. Oh, right. that was almost good. Yeah. Almost a good run. <laughs> You're going to finish it off. Damn it. Limp oh, through the sorry. limp through the uh, limp. finish line. Uh, RC70, I think I paid 70 for Zelda. Yeah, that's probably about right. 70? 70. 70? 70? Currently, yeah, for the current Zelda game. Oh, correct. Probably the, I yeah. assume that's what you're referencing, the current Zelda game. Switch. That just came. Yeah. Or just, sort of. It came out with the Switch. Uh, it depends. Breath Another of the one wild, just came. Right? Oh, the remaster. original. <laughs> yeah. $70 wow. then? Wow. That's really expensive. Yeah. I wonder if there's a chart of pricing for games over the years. Yeah, with the correction. Yeah. yeah kind of. I mean, there's different platforms at different prices. Like, you can't compare them to a Geo game or anything else. So they were like $200. Mm. Or $150 each. They were essentially arcade games, though, right? They were. Yeah. It is it's not super hectic. There's not a lot of movement, really. Damn it! No, you got it. I know, but terribly. Oh, that that you. Terribly, <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I don't have a modded 7800, so I'd like to do mod one of mine. Because yeah. I have more than one, so I'm fine Might with as well. modding one of them. Yeah. 
really want to try it. sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. Thirty point three nine. Yeah. It's pretty good. I took some in the realm. Not so good turns. Yeah. Like that. Terrible. I have a feeling this twenty eight is like a, like a perfect run kind of a time. Well, you definitely can't crash in there. No, no, but you need you need to be sort of perfectly placed to get down the hill that quickly. We were saying the world record is like 27, so... <laughs> yes. Which is crazy. Sometimes you have to press once. Sometimes you have to press twice. Depends if you're already in that direction. Yeah. Or if you have to change direction. Terrible. Whenever he hits the you know he hits right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more than uncomfortable for guys. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. That's nice. That's a nice run through there. Damn it! <laughs> that was good! Come on! Does it make that swoosh sound even if you miss it? The swoosh? Yeah. Oh, it's just turning. Turning nope. makes a swoosh. Every gate makes a swoosh. No, I don't think it's the gate. I think it's just time. It's just time to what? The gate? No, it's just just it's like Swish. a metronome. I don't it think is. so. It's just a metronome. No. Maybe not. The gates. And it doesn't ah. switch. Yeah, you're right. So it does tell you it if is. um you do miss. Well it doesn't tell you if you miss, it tells you if you got it. So it'd be a lot more useful. Told you if you missed. That's funny. Oh. oh, it was good too. Yeah, there's a couple of Not your there. 29.95, but... That noise. It's what our cats make if they're upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mostly when we take them to the vet. Or at each other. It's mm -hmm. like a grumbly noise. That's pretty rare. Yeah, it happens sometimes. But it's a grumbly noise. It's not a. Not a hiss. Not a hiss. It's like a get the hell out of me <laughs> noise. Speaking of. What Taking temperature noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, that's true. When the vet is checking them out. Yeah. 
you definitely make that noise. We're pretty good with the vet, unless it's prolonged uh, poking around the rear end kind of time. Grumbling noise. Somebody said it's uh, temperature taking sounds. Yes. Because <laughs> they don't put the thermometer in their mouth. Oh, come on, Atari. Come here. Come here. Damn come it. Here. Oh, I've got both cats going down here now. Come here. Ah. Okay, another record 75. for me. Personal record, 29.75. Oh my god, this game. Pretty tight. It's like the barnstorming one, really. It is. It's like, you need a really tight... I didn't tight. think it was going to be this tight to get that score. Ugh. Thank you, RC se RC7E. I want to verify that uh, patch score, though, again, just in case I read it wrong. I don't think you read it wrong. Oh, yeah. God. Right in, right in the first gate. That was great. <laughs> Smile. Oh, patch four. Sting. Two. Oh, is that a new one for you? Uh, no, is it? Yeah, I think so. So I, Tanya, I think it's thirty-one twenty-two. Slightly, yeah, ever so slightly better. Yeah. Are you gonna try? Are you gonna go? Um, yeah, we'll we switch can, after we every switch good game. Every good game. <laughs> Hi, Pixel. Hi, buddy. Hi. My cat is biting my feet right now because he wants to play at 11.40 p.m. <laughs> my last cat slept 20 hours a day. I'm not sure this one sleeps. Yeah. Yeah, each cat is very different. Yeah. Oops. When we got the two of them, they are really active sometimes. They play with each other, which is really good. Because we got Pixel first, and he was on his own, and he was kind of timid and not doing much. Yeah. We've... And then we got Atari, and we weren't sure how they would... If they would like each other, really, because Atari's three years younger. And, uh, yeah, they missed each other for like a day, and they're brothers now, so it's pretty sweet. Ooh, 29.85. Not my best. No, but still pretty good. Yeah. 0.1 seconds <laughs> off your last score. Yeah. Don't don't write that one down. No. It'll get confusing. Just, oh, I did. Okay, it's fine. Uh. <laughs> Just want to keep record of when it gets better. 29.75 is my best so far. I still have to shave one point. Oh, terrible, terrible. Stop over five, five off mine. It's not going to be a good one. No, no, it's quite the direction. Oh, it's fine. I see 70. It's okay. <laughs> still a very Thank good score. Thank you, though, for keeping score. Yeah, it's very, very helpful. <laughs> especially when going back the records and I don't even think I put down my proper record last time for the last pa Activision patch in oh, really? my in my listings. I have to write it down each time. 
but uh, yeah, I think maybe I did. I can't remember. Wait, that was better. Twenty nine nine no twenty nine seven five. If you look back like four lines, um, was my best so far. Oh, oh no, that wasn't too bad until no, the end. No, it wasn't too bad. Oh, you didn't get any penalties? <sighs> no penalties, but still. That would have been not bad, even with the overcorrecting. Yeah. It's not great. Oh. A couple of cats in here just being a loser. Yeah, as cats. Generally. Oh, this is, oops, <laughs> this is the thing I was looking for last episode to show what I got as well from the... Um, PRGE. It's the it's the Nintendo. What is this called? NES Max. And the controller is very different. It's it's a free floating directional pad, and it slides all over the place. Like slides from up, down, left, right. It's not pressing in those directions. It slides in those directions. I don't know how this works internally. Whether it's just Connecting up um, electrical signals as it glides over them. Um, but I thought this, I've always wanted one of these controllers um, because I always thought it would be really, really good for shooters. It is so easy to and gradual for moving in the eight different directions um, for shooters, but I've never used one. Uh, RC7E says he loves this controller. Um, what, I can't imagine this is very good for platforms, but for shooters, what did you use it for? Or what did you find it, um, useful for? There's one for the 7800 I want to get, which is similar to this, but it has a little hat. I, it's not similar at all, actually, in the control. But in the, the look of it, it doesn't have these things, but it has like a little, little hat over here. It's very slim. I can't remember what it's called, but I did see one, but it was... Get that. Yeah, I did buy that one at, Portland, at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Remember that 7800 controller? That was small and it's like a little hat thing. That was the one you bought that you realized was for like a no. flashback or something. Oh, I did buy that, but I think there was another one. Maybe it was just too much money and I didn't get it. Mm, I no, remember you bought it. I threw that one away. It's totally useless to anyone. I actually didn't use the red part. Isn't the black part pressable? Oh, is it? It is too! Wow! Is it? What's the red part for? Hmm. Or is it dual purpose? Hey, yeah, you can use the black part. That's kind of cool. It's like a really, really big D pad. I was wondering why it was so loose. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to play, play with it. We've got a retro gaming night coming up. We'll definitely plug in the internet, so we get to uh, try it out. And of course, I got another Genesis Arcade Power Stick as well to replace the broken one I had. Thirty-one three three. Still doesn't beat yours. Almost. Uh, Almost. Thirty-one close. two two. Very close. So still doing well. Maintaining. Yeah. Not under thirty. It's not like panic. It's not a panicky game. Mm. Mm -hmm. You either get it or you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the maximum you want to do is that. Once you that get through movement. that weird gate, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once you get through that weird gate, there's everything's fine. Yeah, like that gate is, is you That's just want to... That's the sharpest one. That's the sharp one, and the rest of it isn't too bad. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You want to anticipate it. Put all those in a row that you can do, mm -hmm. without leaving. And this goes over, and then it goes down, and then goes back, so... There, and then it's done. Yeah. 29 7. 
That's that's it's a faster. new personal record. Twenty nine there was seven. A, there was a bad turn there, but how am I going to shave a second off? I don't. Mm. I don't really see a whole second and a half ah. anywhere there. Second and a half. Yeah. Darn it, the cat is clawing the legs now. Oh. The cat needs uh, playtime. Do you have any toys? We need to distract, distract the cat or run its energy out. That's what we need. A little fluffy thing on a stick to run it around the house with. Or... Each cat likes different things. Some cats like little little kick toys, little micey things that they can throw them and go get them. Oh, that's so good. And they get them and kick them with their hind legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, he loves shoelace. He just got my fingertip playing with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoelaces are no good <laughs> for cats to love. You have to really, you can't make a cat stop doing anything. You can only get them to do things. So if they like going after like shoelaces or something, you have to get them a toy they like even better than the shoelaces. Oh, so close. But you can never like discipline a cat or tell them that they don't care. Oh. They do not care about you or your problems or concerns. <laughs> All they care about is them and their fun and their food. So you just have to provide them with more fun than the things that you love that you don't want them to destroy. left and right less. Yeah. Only, oh. only the bare minimum to clear gates. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. It's a shoelace just for him. He actually just stopped attacking my shoe shoelaces when I put them on. Oh, that's good. No one stops the game room quick look. What? No one stops the game room quick look? True Quaker, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, there's a run that you can do. I went, I went like through eight gates, just straight down. Straight down, yeah. And it's like right. Oh, we've already made it to the end. Thirty-nine. Is that your? Yeah. Best. So far. Nice. Thirty point no. eight nine. Giant bomb did a video of all these old classics. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course, these are. We usually do homebrew, but I'm adding like one game, once a week, once every two weeks. Um, to try and get my patches, but we play homebrew 99% of the time. <laughs> oh, terrible. Oh. I find you have to do a couple of sh shitty runs. Yeah, to get back into it. Mm. Don't want to oversteer more than that. Yeah, you really, you want to be as straight through as many gates as possible. I'm sure someone's plotted the perfect straight line through these gates, but... Yeah, uh, the world record holders. Yeah. <laughs> Time. Uh, it is about five to nine. So done. EST. That's over. Over steering. You're all competing for high scores, eh? Well, no, not quite. No. Uh, the patch is 28. What is two, it? 20, 23. 23. Or two. Uh, okay. And the world record is 27 something. So obviously, uh, to get the patch, you have to get pretty close to the world record. James is at 29.7. So still a ways to go. Second and a half. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. Not but... the way I'm playing. Hey, buddy. Not the way I'm playing there. Yeah. True Quaker asks, what's a patch score? Basically, Activision 
offered patches to players in like, the eighties. Yeah, in the eighties. Um, and set goals basically. If you if you could take a screen, I, would, I was going to say a screenshot. Sure, it's still a screenshot. A photo Just of your TV. <laughs> of your TV. Old school screenshots. Um, reaching a certain score or a certain level, you would get a you would get a patch. They'd give it to you like for a, free. Like an actual patch, not a digital or virtual patch, an actual physical patch. If you're ever wondering where patches came from, That's where they came digital from. patches, they came from Activision because they sent physical patches back in the day. Yep, very fun. And some homebrew games actually still offer patches. Oh, do they really? Yep. Nice. Hi, buddy. Um, Astronomer offers a patch. Uh, Space Cactus Canyon offers a patch. Did you get one? I got the Space Cactus Canyon one. Did you? They sent it to you? Yep. Do you have it? Yep. In an envelope somewhere. Oh, <laughs> up here? No. Oh, I should have it out. I, was gonna grab it. I should have it out. Good times. It's not. It, the Space Cactus Canyon is not a super hard path, but it's not easy either. Well, I watched you do it. It took a little while. You did. Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah. Uh, the astronomer patch. Oh. It's very hard. Is that so? That's a whole group. Astronomer. Yeah. The one where you have to take pictures of stars. Remember? Yes, 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 yes. And then you have to get 20 stars, and that sounds like a low number, but it's not. No, no. I've got 11. And I think only, like, under 10 people have that patch. Mm. So, that's how hard it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, True yeah. Quaker asks, have you played Yards of Revenge? Yes. Uh, it is not a patch game, so we are not going to be playing it on this show. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yards of Revenge is a very, very good game. We played it on the show, though, didn't we? I, could it, I could swear we played Yours of Ed. Maybe it was a retro game or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we might have played Yars um, Return. Oh, yes. yes. Which was on the Retron 77 as a packing game. Yes, you're right. I think we played Yars Return. Yeah. And that's the only reason why we did that. Mm. Fluffing up the game. So. Okay. Ugh. Oh my god, terrible. Too many turns. Every turn you take, it slows you down. Not much, but a little bit. Enough. Got that. No problem. Damn it! It's doing really well there. have this on in the background it would help me fall asleep in it. Well, it's very um rhythmic. You know, a lot of games with loud, lots of noise, <laughs> music in the background. This literally is Damn just it. swoosh. 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 It's like skiing, right? It's yeah. Skiing, more like I said, I, I have this incredible urge to go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot about the game. Cold weather. Maybe, maybe that like warmy cold where it's not quite mm. like below minus 10 but 
like between like, minus 10 Celsius. You know, just below freezing. Yeah. I think the hills are open, though. Um, no. Not yet, even in Canada. Attention. Oh, steer too early. Okay. Hmm. Enough over. <laughs> no, I have to press twice. There. there. Enough over. There is definitely a pattern that you have to do. Mm -hmm. Precise movement. Mm -hmm. And then stop, then wait. And go through a bunch of gates without hitting them, and then move over and move back, and take it straight. straight. Do that one straight for a long ways. Yeah. But you have to be. You have to be precisely down one line. It's not a perfect line there. But there definitely are a bunch of gates you can hit very straight. Getting the precision now down. That's the middle. Let's get the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Then you go over, and then you go back a little further. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And you're going to stay here, and then you're going to jump over. Hidden. No, he's fine. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. How can I not? Look at that. Oh, 30 Look at that cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like You terrified. You <laughs> terrified. Was he in the was he in the screen? Yes he was. He was looking up at the screen. <laughs> Were you looking up? You're a bad cat. Yeah. I've got you now. Ah this game <laughs> These Activision patch games are infuriating. Oh, you're you're painful. Stop it. Yeah, they're they're very sharp those cats right now. Mm, they are. Oh boy. Fine, fine, go away. Ooh, I think I know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The line? Yeah. Oh! Not that one. That one's the middle. This one's the middle. This one is the inside edge of that first flag. Mm -hmm. I think you can be fine. I didn't do that one right. It wasn't over enough. Right in between the skin. Yeah. Six. No, you can't have speed on it though. No, you, you have, have to, to know it right. perfectly. If you're going to do that line kind of. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. This one looks great. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go over very soon. Not yet. Not immediately, <laughs> but very soon. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Damn it. it! Goes to the right, and then it goes to the left quite a bit. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. It's only a couple of things to memorize. Uh, this is actually really good with this controller. It's really good with this controller. Because it's only, um, left and right. There's no, and the up doesn't do anything. I said, I thought Compute Magazine had a type-in version of this. Compute Magazine. Hmm. My dad had a subscription to Compute Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. I subscribe to Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> yeah. Which was I the more was fun cute. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Compute was the right one. Yeah, I think that's what he had. I remember going through that. Aha, that's perfect. Too, too early. Okay. No, I was just doing it too early. Mm -hmm. No, it's not good. Jeez. Dead man. Yep. Oh, I was already aimed in that direction. You have to pay attention to your yeah. skis. Oh, I can do that. Over? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get so focused on the line, you forget the pattern. Twenty-nine five seven. Oh, Not is that better? Bad. Yeah. I okay. Think that, 20... would, that might actually be be your best score. I can do way better than that. I know all the twenty-nine point five seven. I know all the tactics I need to do now. Yay, R seventy. Sorry. <laughs> Taking his job away. <laughs> I'm doing job too. I'm just watching. <laughs> Made so few mistakes, but I did see some there. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna try again? Um, I'm gonna hand it to you. Me, take Just a break for take a moment. Take a tiny break. 
you know, a little bit of a Zen break, a little bit of meditation. <laughs> yeah. There's not studio. many moves that you have to do, but they have to be at the right time at the right spot. Oh, I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Fix. And the D train at 37. That cut a lot of time off my previous, like almost a second. So there is a lot of time to be saved by not moving. Oh, Overcorrecting. There's only four positions that you should be in in this game as a skier. There's straight left, straight right, and then turning left and turning right, but just one. And when he turns screen Not right, it. his skis actually turn, stick out. And when he turns left, his skis don't stick out. Which is very interesting. It's not even. So now I just need to shave off. Is it 28.2 or 28.3? Pretty sure it's 28.3. Twenty point two. We need to give off point six six seconds, which is not a lot. Not a lot. Not much. Left. Mr. Frick says, go Tanya! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It wasn't a terrible run. No, not terrible. You'll get no. it this time. <laughs> <laughs> right between the legs. That's right where you'll get it. Right between the legs. <laughs> That's where you'll get it. You're like torturing this. <laughs> <laughs> Aim perfectly. Yeah. and tight for a while there. Yeah. It's very loud. Is it? Yeah, sorry everyone. It's so loud. Okay, no, just stop playing for a second. You're not gonna be able to play. No? I said stop playing. Stop playing. I've stopped, I've stopped. Okay. I think I started again. Just blasting everyone's ears. Uh, still not quite enough. Nobody complained, but... <laughs> <laughs> They've just turned the sound down. They're yeah. not listening to us. We're not saying very much anyway. <laughs> They're just relaxing to the oh. whoosh, whoosh, whoosh of the waves. <sighs> right between the legs. The white noise. The skier. It's really good sound. Very appropriate I sound. I do like it. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job with this game. <laughs> No, those are the sounds of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Staring transfixed at my 23-inch Sony Trinitron. <laughs> <laughs> so you're watching us on a CRT? That's hilarious. No, it's youth, I hope. <laughs> oh, it's youth was the 23. Oh, 3127. Can I do one more? One that was more. my best to get back in the slopes. Beat that time. Yeah, 28.86. Right, 
That was pretty good. Thirty-nine. Pretty good. Five. Not yeah. your best. What but was pretty my best? good. I did get under thirty, right? Yeah, yeah. you did. Thirty point something something. Mm. I was going to say 39.5. That's not the score I got. 38.9. It's pretty, still pretty good, but... How you hit 28. Yeah, er as a kid, yeah. Damn it. My parents had... Remember when they had a Sony and it was like a 720p CRT? Yeah, I wanted to keep it when they threw it away, but it's yeah. just too heavy. Too heavy to bring across the country. Yeah, you live a little far away. Not worth it. <laughs> Might as well <laughs> yeah. buy one here, really. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, it. Like, I won't make it if I do one oversteer. Damn it, too early. Yeah. There's quite a few posts before that. There are quite a few in a row, yeah. and then you just have to swing over. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> no, it seemed like you were about to go past it. Yeah, it did. My skis, keys, my skis cannot go that far over. If you ever see them at an angle on the left, that is I'm not gonna make it. No, not enough over. <laughs> it's funny, but no, but I mean, uh, you gotta get you, it. You got it. Oh. Missing. Right. <laughs> Poor skier. Yeah, he's taking a beating. That's why he's pink. He's <laughs> all beat up and he's bruised. Got a little bit too bruised. <laughs> The elements here well, that's true. I mean, you get pretty bad sunburns from skiing because of this, if it's sunny. I think it's a, I think it's a really cool piece, personally. <laughs> Circa the eighties. <laughs> Most likely, actually. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Too early. too early. You only need a slight correction there too. Yeah. Not a big one. Didn't stop it enough. Damn it! I forgot what's coming up. This is 
70 away for two minutes log if better than 2886 will do will do yeah we're a pantless vg just curious did you try with a joystick i don't know i don't think it's going to help this is really precise it actually it actually does feel pretty good with that yeah that controller. you really have a lot of this. really touch yeah very precise control. yeah with fiddly with i the, mean with a slack definitely joystick. a joystick would be more authentic but yeah. i wouldn't do as well with a joystick yeah. for sure and unfortunately the 2600 is uh, ailing right now so <laughs> that's sick that's sick but we wouldn't have it oh yeah we'd have a, a genesis we could use yeah a joystick that would be the same as this Ah. Atari bleeds you can do it. Yeah. Very encouraging. He's purring a lot. Oh good. Yeah. Why is it not, <laughs> Why is it not turning back when I want it to turn back? What is going on? Want the troubles? Why are you going right? I have to figure something out. Oh, you don't turn your skis. Hmm? No, you should never see your skis turn. See? Oh, never mind. If your skis turn, you're turning back up the hill, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you see my skis turn that far, I've made a mistake. So that's how you can shave some time. The D-Train 37. I've watched you guys on video a lot, but never watched the show live. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the live show. It's very exciting when we're going towards a patch, too. It is. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. <laughs> In a weird way. See, I turned too much there. Yeah. And that's why I'm not able to turn back again. It is. I can safely say you guys sure play a lot of video games. 2889. Close. There were some mistakes. 2886. Yeah, 2889. Very close. Oh, the D train 37. I timed in a bunch of times during the live feed. Yeah, I do remember your um, your name during the live feed at PRG. That was fun. It's kind of it's fun to do that live and talk and and have people in stuff going on in the background and horrific audio you know <laughs> for at least the first half yeah until we realized oh we can just hold the <laughs> hold the mic I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. it was actually attached to the camera so initially it was just a on the camera which on was the camera. way too far away yeah Too far. Mm. My skis are pointing. And done. Fluff. Fluff is in the air. Getting fluffed up there. Interfering with your controls. Yep, see, see, he made me <laughs> do the wrong thing. Oh, poor buddy. <laughs> oh, it's not your fault, mm. little kitty. I've got to turn right away to avoid. Yeah, the D train. Uh, 30 cents says you sort of need to figure out how to master different parts of the course and then figure out how to knit those pieces together. Yeah, but yep. generally when we play these games, we really haven't practiced them. 
<laughs> well, this is the practice. It is, yeah. Yeah, we don't play these beforehand. No. I've never, I, the only time you see us playing is really on, on, the, streaming. on the stream. Yeah. We don't play otherwise. It's very difficult. <laughs> I think I no. I need to be this precise to get to get Especially that score. Especially early on. Ah! No, it's okay. It's too. F no, you, you it's don't not. Think so? No, because it slows you down too much. Yeah. It's it's doubling my presses. Sometimes I'm like I'm not meaning to turn that much. You know, you, you gotta really, turn right yeah, away. You do. Cut that so close. Yeah. Stop it. Not you, kid. <laughs> Damn it. That's how you do it. Twenty-eight two six. Ah! <laughs> What's the number? Twenty-eight point three. What is it? Twenty-eight point two. Oh no! Is it really? Yeah. You double checked it. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. Point, point oh 0.06? <laughs> Are you going to go for the point oh 0.06? Keep Course. playing. Keep playing. You're it. really I, bloody close. So. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, keep going. That was a lovely run. That yes, was a beautiful was. run. I didn't put my skis up to the wrong spot. Yeah. Over one. Repentless VG, keep going. <laughs> it was really smooth. Oh. See, I can't do that at all. That's okay. That's you why just I keep restart. resetting. You just restart. Oh, I oh, made you, it through. You made it through, yeah. Or not. I didn't crash. It's hard crash. to say. It's hard to say. At least I didn't crash. I didn't crash. Mm -hmm. Stop it! Grrrr! <laughs> You just float off. It seems like nothing, but it's so important. <laughs> it does. It does matter. It does slow you down. But I don't think you're turning too much. If my ski point at all, done. Stop it! Grr, 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 grr. I need that point six, <laughs> and that's the difference between uh, yeah, that's pretty true. getting it and not getting it. It's that little ski pointing. That's okay. That's a tough one. Is. Really? I don't know. You're doing pretty good there. No. Ooh, you it's, really do. You need every single wow. thing. Wow. I don't believe this world record. I, I honestly. Yeah. Twenty seven something. It's all it's recorded. Crazy. All those world records are recorded. Yeah, I think they're lies. <laughs> what they're doing is just way more precise I movement know. than I am. You have to wonder how long people work on these things too. It's like insane. This is just a day's worth, and we're very close to the patch. Not even a day's worth, a few hours worth. But like the people who are working on the world records. Jeez. 
Damn it! Keep going. Keep going to the end. Practice the bottom half. No. You need it. You need to do that. If you do it at all, you're screwed. I think you're right. There's actually very few movements you have to do once you get this yeah. down. It's funny. You just have to do it at the right time. Oh. Once you get comfortable with the slight movements, the, the move and stop, the move and stop, it actually gets a lot easier. It does. It's like you don't need it's to like do much. It's like you overcorrect, but when you kind of go, uh, 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 like you just, it's not that bad. You just have to memorize the gates a little. Yeah. Damn it, you have to move so quick right after quick. that. Yeah, really quick. Stop it! The thing about this game is that um, it's over in 30 seconds. Yeah. the timing precision of an emulator compared to the real hardware. Totally fine. Stella's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so precise. Yeah, and my TVs are set so that there's no uh, delay. delay. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to do this. What am I doing? No, you did fine. No, 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 because I would have had to move back. Oh. It looked like I did fine, but I didn't. Mm. Nathan Strong. Stella is psycho accurate. Yep. You did an awesome job on it. Absolutely perfect. People are just tuning in. <laughs> Why I'm resetting after seemingly minor things. They're not minor. I'm 0.6 off of the patch score I need. Oh. And you can't point your skis at all or you will not make it. And those are just double presses that are accidentally being done. that I didn't I didn't press it that I didn't mean to press it let me say I did mm -hmm. it. too close too close it usually comes down to this at the end where mm. you're sitting there watching me do something well, over I don't and wanna, over. I don't want to interrupt you if you're getting the, the flow of it. So. I am. I'm yeah. still pretty happy I got under 30, so. Yeah, you did really good. Mm -hmm. I feel like by watching you, I could 
do it after a while. Damn, that's how over. Mm -hmm. I went too far over. Just hug it. It's only the middle. That's the only time you do the middle is that one. Mm -hmm. The rest are just hugging it. That oh was God. really friggin' close. It was. Boom. Got it. Like it was. You knew that it was, was there. I knew it was there if I did everything oh, just yeah. perfect. Good job. <laughs> my, I didn't think I was going to get that patch. No. When I first started this game, I was like, that's so hard. Well, it's reminiscent of barnstorming. Like, it is. Where it's just, everything is just like pixel precise. To and get I know it right I can get barnstorming, but we spent two hours on it. So. Oh my God. It was just, no, it was more than two hours. <laughs> it was like four. It was a long oh, time. Oh, thank You're you giving so it to much, me. everyone. I don't want to do it, do it after saw that. How to do it now? No, 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 no. no, no okay. I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm happy with my uh, 2986. Did you get under 30? Yeah. Awesome. I'm That's good. That. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to play for the next hour to get <laughs> to get my patch. That's yeah. okay. I'll uh, practice and come back when I feel. Oh, thank you, know. you everybody, yeah, for sticking watching, sticking too. with me. That's awesome. Um, during that terrible time. Yeah. But the game is not that hard in terms of number of movements you have to make. Yeah. Um, it's like 10? 10, 10 movements? 12? Like, yeah, and I think when you first try, you, you're massively overcorrecting. And then when you get, you get the kind of... You get refined, refined, refined. One refined. click one click back stops you so you one click yep. over one click back one. and then when you get at the ha hang of that then it's just figuring out the lines down the path yeah so the, then there's only one where you have to be in the center and that's the first one yes the rest of them you hug the first one after the turn yes and then towards the end it's a two, all the way to the right all the way to the left and hug that last that last flag, flag and you go straight you go straight down, down. yeah <laughs> Nathan Storm, I ran out of pizza over an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> we had pizza, we had <laughs> we pizza, pizza too. Yeah. Friday's yeah. nights is a good night Friday for pizza. Nights, yeah. The revelation that you cannot tune your skis was key. Yes, it yes. was. Because it slows yeah. down so much. Yeah. You can only just, just You overcorrect and you slow yourself and that's it. You're done. Yeah, you yeah. are done. Yeah. Um, it's like real skiing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, true. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that um, was amazing that I got that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Gives me hope for barnstorming again. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to ta try and tackle that. Yeah, I, d I wouldn't mind doing that in the near future. Maybe I'll do that. We'll do that next time. Yeah, not with Darcy or Erlen or no. You usually do Whatever. different things. Yeah. No, not with Erlen because we'd usually do it on a Friday. Yeah, that's is true. these on that's a true. Friday? Yeah. Sometimes we skip it if there's enough um, homebrew games that are new that have come out. Yeah. Um, usually do three homebrews. Yeah. And if there's only two big ones that I've seen, mm. I'll throw this win, one in on a Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Hi, census taker. Yeah. You can check how many people are chatting and how many people are watching and <laughs> take all the census. And, oh, yeah. and we're all very interested in 2,600 games. So that's your demographic there for taking the census. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, excellent game. Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, I bet it's uh, fun doing the other ones as well, um, with extra and randomness too. Mm. But you wouldn't be able to do the memorization. Like it would be a t totally Not different for speed. game. speed. Yeah, it would be a totally different game. It'd just be like for fun yeah. doing that. Uh, regrettably, regrettably, they didn't do a giant. Okay, we'll do one more, just for fun. Let's see. One more? What? Yeah, because we didn't play any of the other ones. Oh. So what's the highest one, I think? Ten is the... Is that longer? Yeah, there's ones with moguls mm. and... Let me just look it up quickly. Um, there's ones with the moguls and there's ones with more gates. Mm. So, um, oh, Olympic Hills. Okay, downhill runs. 
I'm not sure what 200 meters. I guess it's measured differently. So we'll do... Slaloms and downhills. Game 10, which is a totally different 900 meter, meter hill every time you select. So let's do game me. 10. Mm. Oh. There we go. 900 meters. Let me go first. Oh, let's see how fast that goes. <laughs> and those are bumps. Oh, oh is it no gates? No. Oh, no, it's okay. downhill run. Oh, okay. So you just... Well, those don't seem to slow you down. The trees you just go do. bloop. No, you jump over them. Okay. There are also versions where the gates are literally, are laterally farther apart. Oh, oh. oh, so you're going right across the screen. Oh, with the movement too. Well, it depends if you set it for movement or not. <laughs> so just looking for big openings. Ooh. And this one, you can really see how how much slower you go, even turning your skis just once. Oh, <laughs> You're stuck in a tree. I don't think the moguls slow you down too much. No. It's hard to tell. Ah! Halfway there. Oh, terrible. Bing. You just jump. Yeah. I don't think you hit the button. It's hard to tell because oh. I've never seen you hit one at full speed. Um, it says something to? about hit the button. Maybe really? it resets. No, it doesn't. Okay, it, it was something about hitting the button when you hit one of them. I'm not very good at this. Because a lot of people played these games, um, like in the 80s and 90s, and never played any of the variations. Oh, really? And some of the variations make the game completely different and completely different gameplay. Go down. <laughs> 230, 220. Ding. Points go down 10 when you're hitting them. Maybe if you hit the button, it goes up. Oh! Points go down. No, that's just, um, that's your distance. Did your time go up when you hit them? <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Did my time go up? Well, somebody. Oh, I see. It just goes for 900. So meters. you got 211. Yeah, that's not very good. <laughs> no, it's not points. It's just distance. It's time. Yeah. It's distance. Well, distance over time. No, but it's just your distance. You have 900 oh, the, meters. Yeah, they're not points. It's counting downwards, yeah. Maybe you go faster if you... If you press a button? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's hard to tell. It's, they're just as random as trees. So you don't Not hit many them games with a white, fully white background. No, very rare. Military. Lots of space games. There's not yeah. a lot of white space games. Mostly, mostly black. This feels, ah. like, this feels like a good game for a Christmas. Uh, yeah, we might... Well, it's not a homebrew, but... Well, but generally, if you're going on a theme, yeah. it feels very Christmassy and wintry. And speaking of that, uh, the next episode is on next Thursday on Halloween. It's a Halloween episode. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off because I don't have a costume. So <laughs> I guess I better do I can, that this I weekend. I can figure something out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, here's the 122? Mine was 2 11. Oh, 2 11. A lot of things. Okay. <laughs> on lot Thursday, of yes, RC70 on Thursday. Yep, Thursday. Unusual at, day. At 11 a.m. So Are we doing it that early? Yeah, it's either one or the other, unfortunately. So Not I wanted do to it do it in the it. afternoon. Erlen can't make it. So it's either you or him. Oh, so. that's not fair. I know. It's sad. Um, even in the later afternoon? No. You, you want to take time off work? Well, I can come later in the day. I can join you. Uh,. In, like it, there's no crossover. It'd be me for a couple hours if we're going to continue the show. Oh, okay. No, it's not going to work. It's a shame. It is. Because last last year we had all three of us, or no? Did we? No. I didn't no. Think so. so it was no. just myself and Erin, wasn't it? No, we did it at night. I can't remember. We did it at night last did we? year because people were, were thinking the trick trick or treaters were going to come, but they didn't. Mm. It was at night, and you were here. But I don't know if you I came down. I don't think down. I came. Uh -oh. I wasn't in the stream, I don't think. No. Mm. Skiing sound effects are fine, but the banjo plink when you go over a mogul doesn't quite fit. Yeah. Not plink. quite. 
it's it's kind of neat but it doesn't quite fit anyway that that's that's a fun variation um so yeah the next episode is the on thursday mm. 11 a.m pacific time check your local listings <laughs> 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 and um and we'll be doing we'll be playing a bunch of halloween games halloween scary themed games i might have to throw in some non-homebrew um or if anybody has any suggestions for games we didn't play last year that are new or we just didn't play that aren't in the list of skeleton plus do re mi halloween edition which is made especially for us maybe not i don't know if you put it out in general but anyway dory me halloween edition mm -hmm. zombie invaders which is a space invaders hack ronister at how ronister at haunted house which is a berserk hack um which is actually a i don't think that's released anywhere he's just he's just put that on cartridge and i asked him to if we could play it on the show um so we have those games which will last a little while i would like to put in one more game at mm. least Something maybe two but one more that's scary or it has monsters that are kind of scary or you know some, something something themed tangentially related to halloween mm. one year for halloween some neighborhood kids sh shaving cream a big atari logo on our oh, garage nice. <laughs> that's kind of cool yeah that... <laughs> you can spray it off right mm -hmm. wouldn't do any damage to the paint would it it's no. better than egg <laughs> yeah way better than eggs oh my god yeah. so you're lucky yeah um yeah, if anybody has, else has any ideas, the original Halloween at least once. Mm. Oh, the Halloween hack? Did we play that last year? Let's see what we played last year, mm. just so I can remember, so I can say no. Don't suggest that one. Uh, 10, 31. Um, we had Happy Halloween, Candy Catcher, Stranger Things, Barb's Revenge, Tombstones, Freddy's Fear Factory, Blair Witch Project, Elvira, Monsters Revenge, Skeleton Plus, Tire Tracks. So, so there's a, yeah, there's a level of Halloween's tracks. not, no, Halloween's an original game. Yeah. The original uh, Halloween. Uh, I might have to throw that in if I don't find any other hacks or homebrews mm -hmm. um, of games. Yeah, there's Halloween. There's another one as well mm. that I can't remember the name of. Never made it more than 30, 30 seconds, seconds in yeah. Halloween. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> hard game. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll put that one on the back burner. Um, I'll add that in. Oh, Census Taker, thank you very much for your subscription to <laughs> Twitch Prime and supporting the show. Yes. You get your name read, and yeah. you get a little thing beside your name saying you subscribed. And yeah. I read you off every, uh, every show nice. for at least the next month. <laughs> um, so that, just a reminder, that is on Thursday on the 31st obviously um and uh and then we're back to regular schedule the next week on the wednesday i'm kind mm -hmm. of combining the wednesday and friday shows into the one thursday okay. show. okay yeah. yeah um yeah i think that's about it oh and hopefully i can get dionoid's um interview done probably in the next week especially mm -hmm. since there's only going to be one show um next week okay on the Halloween. Mm. Um, I've already got it imported into Premiere. Nice. Um, so now I just need to, well, do everything else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sync the audio and do um, some B-roll, which is not much B-roll because he's just got the two games. And so it'll be a lot of Amoeba Jump <laughs> and a lot of Tower of Rubble. Mm. Um, did you do any other interviews? We did impromptu interviews, a bunch of impromptu, like people just coming up. We interviewed uh, Revan Tooley, um, the guy who did uh, Dragon's Descent. Mm -hmm. We interviewed Bob Dick Crenzenzo. <laughs> yeah. The guy who did Baby Pac-Man and a million other awesome yeah. games. Yeah. Um, we interviewed Al Yaruso from Atari Age. We interviewed... Just on the fly as we were walking around. It yep. was awesome. Yeah, John yeah. Champeau um, yeah. as well. Interviewed him. Uh, we interviewed Dion as well. Yeah. <laughs> in the, Briefly, yeah. In the live stream. Yeah. Uh... Did we talk to anyone else? I think that's it. We flashed the camera at Dan Kitchen. <laughs> Very briefly, he waved and we went back. <laughs> um, 
I think that's it. Oh, in the background, you can see... Uh, oh, 8 Bit Guy. Yeah, sorry. 8 Bit Guy. We were watching that. His PRGE show we showed. Yeah, yeah. the jump in the background. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, saw yeah that we too. watched that the other day. Yeah. Um, and in the interview with Dion, in the background, I'll point it out really subtly. Yeah. Uh, Metal Jesus rocks, walks by in the background. Oh, really? <laughs> If you care. <laughs> nice. Uh, about that. <laughs> Bob did pronounce his own name on the yes, stream. Perfect. So we'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to watch that again. Yeah. And memorize his name. It's like Bob de Grizzinzo. <laughs> it starts with a D and there's a C and there's a Z in there yeah. and a Zo or something. You're going to have to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't mess up his name. Yeah. I apologize for all people's names that I mess the up manglings, all the time. The manglings of their names. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what's coming up. Obviously, the I got to get back working on the 2019 Atari Awards. Yes, yeah. Those will be showing at the end of January if everything else goes right, mm -hmm. and they should. Mm -hmm. And we'll be announcing the nominees January 1st, 2nd, 3rd ish, mm -hmm. whenever that, whenever the first time we broadcast again mm -hmm. after the new year. I wonder what the days are that fall on the first. I don't think I'll be doing the first because that's a waste of a day. Nobody will be watching. First is a Wednesday. Hmm. Should we save it for the Friday? Probably. Yeah. People will be too hungover and <laughs> on out, on out New source. Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's no, Day at eleven a.m. No, I think that's yeah. Yeah. So we'll do the yeah, Friday. We'll do the Friday. So it'll be uh, the nominees will be announced on the Friday the third, January third. Okay. Wow. Well, or will they? Right no, 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 no. No, not the nominees. The nominees, right? Not the nominees. <laughs> no, not the nominees. That's too early. That It cuts off on the 31st. We can't have the nominees immediately because we have to have the... It cuts off? Yeah, just... It the cut, voting? Not the voting. Um, the entries cut off on the 31st. Yeah, so you're going to have to go through the entries. Yeah, so never mind no, about no. that. You're going to need a little bit of so, that. So that'll be like a week and a half in. That's when we'll know the nominees. On the 10th. Yeah. Like on the tenth or something. Mm, cool. Um, tenth or at the worst, like the fifteenth or something, something like that around that. Mm. Um, so yeah, nothing's happening on the first. Mm. <laughs> I'll just, I'll probably give you a tally of how many games were made. I'll know that. It's like, oh, 150 homebrew games are just eligible. Mm. We'll know the numbers. Yeah, I'm not going to read them off because there's too many, but we'll know at least how many are eligible. Cool. Yeah, so we can say that. Excellent. Um, so Excellent. lots of uh, fun games today. Um, yeah, very good. Heist. Both. Oh, hard as hell. Very fun. Very fun games. Very addictive. You just want to keep playing it. Hard. Very hard. I want lives. <laughs> I want three lives. Yeah, I kind of want. want three lives too. So I you can continue going. Because, yeah, you start back at the beginning yeah. and you just, yeah. The hardness is fine. I think yeah. the level of hardness is fine. It's hard. It's just hard to get uh, to higher levels because once you die, yeah. boom, you're back at. Yeah. It's, it's so I'd love three lives. Well, I think that would be fair. Well, Ninja Room 1, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. No. Um, but great graphics. Yeah. Great level enjoyed design. It. Yeah, I Fun that. concept. Yeah. Everything's really great about it. Mm -hmm. Just add three lives. Mm -hmm. um, Goon Knights. I liked I it. I think it's the it, controller it, was our problem. Well, yeah, because the it, it um it's got it a little bit of up. wiggle on the up, so you're hitting the up and then it's putting you in the middle. But actually, once you kind of get the hang of it, yeah, and you figure out how it works, it's pretty fun. It's, it's a very I, fun I, shooting game. I, and you're thinking, how are you gonna have a challenging shooting game on the Atari? He makes it work. Other than moving the X around, and um, actually by having it spin across the yeah, window, it's. There's a challenge there to time it up so that you're hitting the guy in the middle. So, yeah. um, thumbs up. Yeah. Um, if you really wanted interesting. to, it's good as it is, but I think it would be great if he had decoys that you more than the one de decoy. Yeah. That you're not supposed to shoot. Yeah. Um, adding in color that would be good, but it you don't works, have though. to. Yeah. I mean, for the the good and bad guys, I can make it white or black or pink or green or just add some color to differentiate it yeah i don't know but it's good as it is it is good as it is it, especially it, it for a 4k really game well. if you don't want to go above the 4k limit then you probably can't add those in no that's because true. just too too much graphics yeah. um and skiing oh 
awesome. It's game. a great game, actually. Yeah. It's really good. I didn't know what to expect of it. No. It's, super challenging. It's challenging and simple, but it's in the yeah. control. And so so mastering the controls of it and, and the control of the skier. and A, lot of, a little bit of memorization on, on the patch um, level. Mm. But not too much, actually. Once you get down to it and, and you get precise, well, and, and you it's realize more about the, precision. You're clicking one to turn and clicking back mm. once to get it back, going back on a straight path. So if you're doing a one-click, one-click, you're not overcorrecting. And then once you get the hang of that, you can you can follow that line. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great, great games today. Yeah. I loved it. It's Lots of, of people in the chat, too. Tons. Probably. Yeah. probably Died yeah. off a little bit towards the end, which is totally understandable. I, I would um, say it's a very, like, we get to see all the stats after. Well, yeah. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess like that it's going to be people. a lot of unique chatters. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So it was really great having yeah, you all here. Yeah, it was here. nice. I like, I like seeing all the people <clears throat> chat and comments. Yeah. And, so. and new subs, too. I think yeah. we had, like, three. Really? Th three or Throughout, four. Through the, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so it's, yeah. I yeah. love it. Yeah. You guys are great. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, RC70, I'm going to miss a bunch of names, but I'll scroll and yeah, um, get the most we can. So I tried to say them during the show. RC70, the D Train, 37, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Census Taker, yes, subscribed. Rent Repentless Fiji, the D Train, I already said. Yay. Dios Kilos, who's become a regular, more of a regular now. Um, let's see. Mr. Fitz. True Quaker jumped in. True Quaker, that's a new name. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us. Yes. Uh, another happy panda. I yeah. Where I know there's a panda before, but maybe yeah. not. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jared Gray West. Yes. Great programmer. Chris. Friend of the show. Charles Rees. Yes. I swear I know that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I supposed to Lem McAllister, Lem McAllister, the Welshman eighty nine. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the top of the scroll. All line. right. So thank you to everybody else and Repentless PG. Yeah, thank you for resubscribing. Just resubscribe Woo. and M K Smith. Yay! Welcome. Thanks for talking. Yeah. Very last second. Just yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, no, James, you and Tanya. <laughs> thank you. Um, so remember, we're back on Thursday mm -hmm. next week for the Halloween show. I don't know if we'll decorate. We'll try and do something. Maybe we'll go out this weekend and look for some stuff. Yeah. Because um, we didn't really keep anything from last Halloween. Did we have decorations or anything? I, I have remember. I have a bag of decorations, but I don't Halloween think we bring stuff? them up. Yeah, I don't bring them out very oh, okay. often. We're not big Halloween. Sneaky yeah. working on a new Secret 7 Oh, event. nice. Oh. As you're watching. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I suggest pumpkins. Yeah, we'll get some pumpkins. Yeah, we should and we'll get put pumpkins. Them yeah. Here or something. That'll yeah. help a lot. I now I usually decorate time. the screen. Like the virtual screen around. Oh, yeah. I did that last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You with Pac Man Red's amazing graphics. So and yeah. a big bag. Oh, of course we'll have candy. Oh, That's a yeah. given. That's a given. A bowl of candy of in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some scary cats. <laughs> some black we don't, cats maybe black we'll just cats. we'll just spray pixels white parts black and then we'll have we'll have a That's black right. cat yeah. yeah or tell him to just sit down and not get up just show his back just show his back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that's it for us. Um, thanks for hanging out yes. um, with us we always once have fun. again. I yes. enjoy it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Always a good Friday night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good thing to do on a Friday night if yeah. you're not going out. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see you on Thursday, 11 a.m., and we'll see you next time. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night. Night-night. <laughs>